Let's get this started. Hello and welcome to Gaming Together, a cooperative podcast. I'm your host, Philip, and I'm here with my co-partner, Nave. Each pod, we play through a cooperative experience and relate to you, the listener, if this game is the creme de la creme of co-op or something better off playing solo. Hey, Nave, what's poppin'? That was incredibly serious. My camera's fucked up. Hold on. That's bothering me. Cool. That was good for the listening experience, right? Yeah. At least we you have didn't a bump the mic. Yeah, we do. Let's get the guest. Wait, I can do that, too. Hold on. Was oh, that great. a noise? Great. Yeah, that was a noise. Yes, a returning guest for like the ninth time. <laughs> he's got his Elder face Troll. in his hand. Like I'm he's here. Upset. I'm here. You can't keep me away. You just can't. Jono, at this point, I have to believe that you are the lead troll with uh, how much face time we have with you. You're always out there uh, spreading the gospel. So how about you yeah. remind our listeners what the Elder Trolls is all about? Oh, well, we are a variety channel, a video game variety, I would say. We have a YouTube channel, Elder Trolls Gaming, and we have a bi-weekly podcast where we talk about games. We're three brothers, by the way. That is all. Awesome. Nice. Got that LGBT representation, the bi-weekly podcast? Yeah, bi-sexual bi sorry podcast. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we're glad to have you. And this week, we're going to be talking about X Defiant. I hate that yes. name. But before yes. we get there... We're going to check in with the games that we have been playing games for the last week, the games we've been playing. Finally, it's been like a week since our last recording, so we've actually had time to play some games. So getting right what into it. What are you talking it. about? I played games last time, too. I beat a whole ass game, Philip, last weekend. Beat a whole I know, ass I mean, game? I also, I also almost beat a whole ass game last weekend, but I stopped early to get, to get on the pod. I don't want to revive just, this. I don't know why report, I brought it up. Report in, Dave. What, what, what's your work this week? Dude, I... <laughs> so I beat Hotline Miami 2 last week. And you feel good? No, wow. I don't, dude. I <laughs> I haven't been that fucking pissed off in a very long time. And the only reason I beat it is because I put a poll up on fucking Twitter. And I was like, dude, I'm right at the end, but I don't know if I can do it. Because twice, dude. I'm strong enough. <laughs> listen, twice this happened to me. I got to the two of the hardest levels of the entire game. It also happened to be the hardest levels of the game. I got to the very end, killed the last enemy after like 30 minutes of fucking agony. So much rage that I could see the clouds part and I could see Yahweh's face looking down upon me, like about to <laughs> welcome me into the fucking pearly gates, dude. I was so fucking mad. I would kill the last enemy and then the game would not proceed. I would just be stuck in the level and, and no I would have to restart the whole fucking... I, oh my God, I'm, my wow. blood pressure is rising just thinking about it. That's after the bad. second time, I put a poll up on Twitter. People basically were like, suck it up, pussy. You can do it or die trying. <laughs> and God, I went back. Fuck. I went back and I beat it. And and it wasn't as bad. Like, it's never as bad the second time. Both times yeah. that that happened, I, had, I literally phased out of reality. I think the second time it happened, it was like 11.15. And then the next time I had a conscious thought, it was like 1 in the morning. And I had to work at 5 in the morning. So I was like... Just sitting on the couch, just blankly staring at the TV. Yet somehow, uh, you like if we're looking at your tier sheet, you placed Hotline Miami two above the quarry in B tier because <laughs> it is it is better. I would rather play Hotline Miami two again <laughs> than play the quarry. To be honest, the Do you want to read? I, put, I never picked up. Uh, I I normally just tell you what the tier is. Philip already told us, but I put a whole pic, whole ass picture in here. Philip, you want to read? Yeah. This is like literally. Five minutes after I was done beating it, and the, I just watched the credits, and yeah, then I so wrote Nate, this up. Rolling credits, you go out to tweet to the masses, the gaming together community. Finally, Hotline Miami Two is done. It gave me thirty-three heart palpitations and took eight years off my life. Fantastic game, top of B tier. Never playing it again. Fuck this game. <laughs> <laughs> Never that is it's a good review. Again, dude, it was awful. I mean, I, I'm right there with you on a couple games. Like I had. Hotline Miami 2 installed because it's only like 24 megabytes. And so like when I saw you playing, I'm like, man, should I play this too? So we could talk about it, but I did not force myself into it. It's not that bad for a little bit. And then some of the levels are just the worst design levels that I've ever experienced in a fucking game. <laughs> but the game is just so good. It is a good game. And it's but it tight. is just Oh man. I want to play, play the, the first one and just like think about it. Like 
I wonder I wonder how good the first one is compared to the second one. I bet I definitely think it's probably like somewhere in the A's, but I'm just I still am recovering. My heart, my chest still is tight. For, I beat it like five days ago, and I'm still like really stressed out. <laughs> All right, what else uh, have you got on here? Uh, I'll go real quick. Ghostwire Tokyo. I just oh. I wanted something that meant nothing to me, and so I was like, I'm gonna play, pull this up. This is just literally roaming around and like collecting shit. So I yeah, was like, this would be cool. Um, yeah. This game is fucking awesome, actually. It's, it's like, so good. I played it last yeah. year. It's great. Yeah, I feel like good. I feel like I'm gonna like wander into like being bored with it eventually. But while I'm doing the story missions and shit, like there's just so much cool visual shit going on all the time. I'm gonna mm. go out on a limb and say this is better than Control by a lot. Like I think this is way more interesting than Control. That might just be me being a weeb, also. But like, there's just so much cool fucking imagery in this. And speaking yeah. of cool imagery and control and everything, Hellblade Two. I'm playing through that. I'm literally right at the end. I'm like, I, I think I have too? like one more fast. chapter. Yeah, I've only been playing it for like three hours and three and a half hours. Um, so I'm pro gaming it. But um, this game is also so fucking visually. This is the best looking game I've ever. I don't. I get floored sometimes. I'll walk around a corner and I'll see water and I'll be like, dude, look at that water. Look at how it's interacting with the fucking rocks over there. That's fucking oh insane. God. So but stupid. um, it this game looks insanely good, and but it is so also very stressful. I th- this is the only game besides the first Hellblade that I've ever been playing, and I'm like, this is too intense. I'm like getting physically stressed out, and I'm not getting. It's not frustration. It's not like excitement. It is literally just so in- visually, audibly intense that. I, I had to put it down and do something else. So I've been like bouncing between Ghostwire Wire and Hellblade. I have to like literally recharge to get back into Hellblade 2. But um the game is awesome. It reminds me of um I already said control, but another thing, this is a weird comparison, but it reminds me of Catherine. Where the game you know how Catherine is like really intense puzzle for like for like an hour and then you have like three hours of like visual novel basically this game is like really intense combat for 30 minutes and then it is a walking simulator for an hour you know what i mean yeah so it's like first one was too yeah it's very similar to that and so i don't know how much people are going to like enjoy hellblade 2 i haven't really been online i haven't been looking at reviews and stuff Uh, i saw it got like an 81 but like other than that i don't really know what the consensus is but I'm really, really liking Hellblade too. It's like exactly my type of shit. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm excited to see how it ends because I remember when I beat the first Hellblade, the way that it ended really boosted it up for me. So I'm afraid I'm gonna beat this game and it's not gonna be as good as the first game's ending. And I'm gonna be like, oh, I fucking hate it now. You know what I mean? Yeah. But otherwise, that's it. I've just been doing that shit. I was like, I've been playing some gold besides Online Miami too, which is just it's it's a it's an experience it's like cluster truck or super me boy dude it is the it is like the gaming equivalent of chlamydia like <laughs> honestly well, you said it's good because it's like you yeah well that's the thing F- fucking is good yeah, and it feels yeah, great yeah. but then <laughs> you know afterwards you're just like oh my god my health is worse i was worse <laughs> off before i did that really good okay, thing gotcha. <laughs> so stupid. gotcha i'm taking damage yeah <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, Jono. What games have you been playing? Update the listeners with your gaming habits and tendencies. Mm, not much. Pretty much just X Defiant. That's my new game. I I started Dragon's Dogma 2 a couple weeks ago, but I really just haven't felt like going going back into it, you know? I mean, it was it was nice. I played for like 4 hours or something. It was cool, but yeah. Like I just the new season of Apex came out, and I've just I've actually been playing that a lot too. But I've been playing on PS5 randomly because it's easier <laughs> because the lobbies the people aren't as fucking sweaty, I guess, on console. Yeah, you're um, they're playing children. Yeah, so <laughs> it's it's easier and it's more fun. But it could be because <laughs> controller it just has aim assist, and I fucking you can just one clip everyone very easily. But uh, but yeah, I've just been playing that. X nice, nice, and that. You and your shooters, mm-hmm. shooty games. There's two genres, right? Shooters and non-shooters. Yeah, non-shooters. Yeah. <laughs> and so, like 
that's a reference to like five years ago in our podcast. <laughs> like, I don't know what callback that was. No, it was a conversation, I think, in the goof troop. I don't even know what we were talking about, but someone else <laughs> listed, list, I don't even, it might have been John, or listed out like a couple of games he's playing. It was like only shooters, and someone <laughs> called him out on it. I, I only play shooters. <laughs> shooters? Is that a non shooter you're playing there? <laughs> I don't think so, boy. <laughs> Well, into my non-shooters that I've been playing. So, <laughs> yeah. I've Nate last week or the week before. I don't know. It was last week. We, I was right at the end of Nino Cooney, right? I was not. So, <laughs> yep. Yeah, Obviously. I went to I went to Giant Godzilla. <laughs> uh, I battled him in a huge Lord of the Rings style battle. Went inside nice. his chest, uh, reached heaven. Uh, into heaven, I did a boss rush of every boss up to this point. Defeated them all, uh, fought Ganon, Dark Lord of Darkness, and once I defeated him, uh, the Angel of Calamity emerged from Godzilla's heart. And I'm already zoning out. Yeah, I know. This is when I defeated that. <laughs> this is Nino Kuni too. Kuni. Yeah, <laughs> and fuck? I beat the game. Wow, so, that sounds crazy. Which I placed it on my tier list. S rank. Oh. I was really wow. mid on this Whoa. game actually starting out. I know. Wow. But that ending was so good, despite how RPG as hell it is, or JRPG as hell it is, with the stupid killing God at the end, because I'm like, great. We were literally saving cats <laughs> at the beginning of this game, and we ended up killing God. <laughs> the, the tropes continue. <laughs> but the game is good. And uh, Roran, or Roland, I'm not still not 100% on the pronunciation of his name, uh, I teared up with his little story at the end. He's the guy in blue. I, he's not in the screenshot. Uh, don't worry about that. Uh, <laughs> but I love it. He's the guy in blue, and there's no one wearing blue at all. <laughs> yeah. The way his story wraps up, I mean, I was, I was tearing up at the end. So good. Uh, he's my boy. Anyways, uh, moving on before we get too many Nino Kuni spoilers. Navy, you should play it. Uh, don't worry about playing the first game. Just play Nino Kuni 2. Next okay. up. I finished Crash Team Racing, which I was playing and emulated on my little em- emulator to go, which could ex- explain system? some of my issues with the game. Uh, PS1, but I was playing PS1. it on my Ambernick RGB uh, 350V or uh, 280V. They got actually. PS1 games on that? That's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, yeah. All you need is a D-pad. I don't have it with me, but it's it's smaller than, you know, my, my phone. It's It's a little guy. So the small screen could have been the issue, but I was struggling hard in this game. And I originally was like, this is going to be part of my 100 games last year that I was going to beat. But this game was so hard, I couldn't do it. But I went back, and Nave, the, the thing you're talking about. It's us. Ciao, ciao, Good. ciao, ciao. Okay. And we're back after some slight uh, errors. Uh, the continu- continuing on, Crash Team Racing for PlayStation 1. Uh, Nave, like your issues with, uh, what's it called? Stupid uh, Hotline Miami 2. With you being on like the final boss and having to redo it like so many times, like yeah. I I was having that issue. Like I was having some like crashes right at the end, even though I'm like I'm right there. Like and this game is brutally hard, surprisingly hard. <laughs> Could have been the controls since I'm playing with it, like Game Boy controls, not an actual <laughs> controller or anything. It, you don't have a it, joystick or anything. No, there's no joystick. It's PlayStation <laughs> One. They didn't have jo- yeah. joystick games. They had so, like, analog. An analog no. stick. Nay, yeah. Weigh in with me. When did PlayStation One Shock, bro, have Dual Shocks? That was like a PlayStation like, Two thing. No, that was PS. No, it was a PlayStation Shock. One, but like it was later. It was like two, three years later, maybe. Yeah, yeah I, I feel like for a long time PlayStation was One there, was though. just like you know oh, the guess, biggest yeah. the biggest addition they had were like the triggers with like having two buttons. You know. Nah, man, that original PlayStation controller is so nice. I love it. Was that. a ninety-seven. That's... That's such a nostalgic thing to me. Without the without the Dual Shock, like before Dual Shock, I was right. I was like yeah. right on the money. It was like three years after the PlayStation One came out. Yeah, so a large portion of the PlayStation One catalog can be played with just the D pad. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's I don't think there's any games in the PS One. Oh no, uh, Ape Escape. You need the dual. You need the analog sticks for. But I don't oh, know if they're other than that. Well, that's the thing. They made Ape Escape specifically to show off the whatever, dude. It's like the fucking. It's like Mario's face in Mario sixty four. They made yeah. that there so that you. Oh, look at the polygons! Holy shit! Be like, oh man, I gotta have the Connect so I can play Connectimals. You know, like great the feature I don't need to play games. Was it I don't Connectimals? Play. Is that the game it, that came with Connect? I thought it was some stupid Wii Sports thing. 
I probably I remember, I don't we remember played anything. The, the Wii go to the movies a whole bunch. Oh yeah, but that was good. What the hell is that? You Wait, that doesn't the require the connect though. No, it had the Wii go to the movies. So you could go to the I movies. Thought you, oh, you I thought you could use a vision cam. Yeah. I don't For know, what? Man. Okay, so here's how it worked. Basically, you <laughs> stood in front of your camera, and it would say, "Hey, Send play a mini movie. game where you're like." Uh, cranking up a barrel or not a barrel like a bucket out of a well and you just pretend to like move your hand like this and then wow. it green screens you out of the background and it plays a movie of you like fighting ninjas and, <laughs> it, and it like so you look you're like trying really hard to crank a bucket but then it got the game was actually I think it's ahead of its time <laughs> yeah it was great yeah, it sounds like it yeah you could do great. this with like modern cell phone cameras though I feel like if we just use like the forward facing camera reality prop bro. it up yeah AR it like you could remake we go to the movies as an app and it would kill it'd be like jackbox i played yeah. jackbox the other day Anyways, i want to play as... jackbox every day all right oh. but crash team racing uh on my tier list because i started my own tier list uh i put it down almost last place c tier uh <laughs> <laughs> only above brotato <laughs> brotato yeah yeah which I got, I got all the achievements in Brotato. Definitely recommend you try it once, and then <laughs> yeah, you don't, don't you play don't it play again. Game once, <laughs> yeah. What but that's all that? the games I've been playing this week. Nave, did you buy anything this week that you like to report in? Some good no. deals, some indie no, hits. Still poor. Uh, I mean, actually, I bought a ticket. I'm very irresponsibly bought a ticket to a fucking Lorna Shore show. That's gonna have Lorna Shore, Whitechapel. Shushka Nabagabog, whatever that fucking band is. I don't know how to pronounce their name. There's <laughs> another one, too. I don't remember. But that show's going to be great. But I was afraid it was going to sell out. So I was like, I would rather my bank account go into the negatives for like an entire week straight than uh, that show sell out. And I have to pay like $300 for a ticket later on. Maybe you asshole. And then you send stupid pictures on like, I don't know, it's Facebook or Twitter or whatever. And you're like Bachelor Life and your fridge has like a PBR in it. Yeah, one singular <laughs> beer. Yeah, and a it's jar of mustard. <laughs> oh, I have <laughs> mustard. Hey, can I at least go get my stuff? I didn't see anything in there except for a couple old cycle magazines and a jar of mustard. I had mustard. <laughs> Auto. Got to be able to make the fancy. mustard sa- uh, sandwiches, right? <laughs> mustard sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, with a plain poop white on. bread. On plain white bread. God, yeah. me and Jana were talking about the stupid Wayne's World. Like, can I get the cream of some yum guy or whatever? Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it just, just dead. All of the just cream nothing. of some yum guy. <laughs> yeah. And they're just like, huh? That's yeah, when yeah. Rob Blow is like speaking perfect Chinese, like on the phone, like mm-hmm. ordering the food. <laughs> and they're just like, what the? Such fuck? a great show. <laughs> yeah. I and miss old Mike Myers. <laughs> yes. Rest in peace, Mike Myers. <laughs> Next up, our patron section. If you want to support another great show, such as Gaming Together, you can go out and support a Patreon, where when we finish editing the episodes, they're already up, so you can go listen to them right after we recorded them, after we edited them, all that time. So uh, some days... That is how it goes. (laughs) Sometimes it's a lot sooner than others, where it's later. So let's thank our current supporters. Berserker This, Mr. Quang, Insane Cracker, Nick and Knight, Hopple, Michael Superbacker, and the Intergalactic Pinecone. Thank you for all your support. And did you know, Nave, that these are just our paid members? We actually have quite a few unpaid members that I never even noticed in, <laughs> on our Patreon. What is an unpaid member on Patreon? It's just somebody that like follows you. It's like an a unpaid supporter. Hmm. Yeah, Wait, so yeah. Hop- Hopple's back on the train? Hop- Hopple's back on the Gaming Together train, huh? Let's go. Look. I didn't know he was off. Yep, there he is. What's no. Welcome back, Hopple. Welcome, welcome back to welcome the, back. the early, early episodes, maybe, sometimes. Hopping back on. Thank you for your support. <laughs> God damn. We gotta stop. We gotta get out of yeah. here. Yeah. Time for the Am I the Asshole section, where we go online and assist gamers in need and let them know <laughs> if they are, in fact, assholes or not. So, Jono, yes. uh, oh, the God. link is in there. If you would like to go in and help us identify an asshole, please help uh, us help us help them. The A I T I A sheet. So I just pick one of these. Eh? Yeah, anyone that's not grayed out. You can read the description, or if you're feeling bold, you can not read the description. Okay. Yeah. Gra- None of the grayed out ones. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh let's go with number five. Number five. You didn't make it very far, Don <laughs> No, we're going we're going 
possible <laughs> grooming warning content. <laughs> oh, God. oh, good. All right. Jumping right in. <laughs> Diving right in. Grooming. All right. Possible we had grooming. one last week that was like that, too, until like the, I read the first sentence. You remember? <laughs> All right. Like, hey, am, I, someone... am, I, am I reading this? Yes. Uh, sure. First off, uh, the title is, uh, or no, the person is Bo Imbalm. To 9405W, which I think is my emulator. Um, anyways, <laughs> yeah. uh, his account has been suspended. So <laughs> we're not going to get terrific. it. Yeah, we don't have anything more on this guy. Oh, great. Okay. It's from a year uh, ago. Let's see. Serious read tag. This. this is, oh, serious tag. M I T B? Am I the butt, butt face? face. Am I this the is the butt alternative face? in case you don't you get removed or blocked on it by the asshole. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> For telling my son, 16 male, no, you can't meet online friend, 33 male, from World of Warcraft. My son is 16, and we got into WoW six months ago. My husband paid for the subscription for his 16th birthday. Anyway, my son has told me he's met this man, Jonathan. All right, fake name. Phew, okay, not me, folks. <laughs> Close one, not you. <laughs> he's 33 <laughs> online oh. and lives in Chicago. And Jonathan's offered to meet him in Chicago and take him back to an apartment for a meal. <laughs> for a what? meal? For a he meal? He wants to like, eat him up. Munch, munch, munch. <laughs> what the Wait a minute. <laughs> my son said he's spoken to Jonathan via Zoom and seen what he looks like. I told my son, no, he cannot meet his online friend from WoW, even if he told us. And that Chicago is way too far to go for a weekend when we live in San Francisco. Oh, yeah. That's oh, far. my God. <laughs> my son insisted he had to meet Jonathan and his wife, Joanne, and spend a weekend with them. I've told my son no, no, and no, but he is insistent about meeting Jonathan. <laughs> Am I the asshole for denying him this? Uh, uh, yikes. Man, trying to get that deep dish. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> That's so fucking weird. God. Is it 16? worse or is it worse or better that his wife is going to be there? Because I feel like that's worse somehow. Yeah. Well, we don't, we don't I mean, know if the wife is actually going to be there. Yeah, might might be no wife. He he didn't say that he spec or that he spoke. He saw to the, wife the wife on Zoom. <laughs> yeah, on Zoom. So who knows? Let's see. I don't know. Are. I remember when I was freshly twenty one, going out to the bars. I was approached by a couple ones. Like, you know, oh. we see you from across the bar kind of fucking thing. Oh, like yeah. Some older, sure. uh, I mean, it is could that, be, yeah. What, is that what this is? What is going on here? This is, like, incredibly uncomfortable. Dude, this is this is bad. Because, like, I'm 30. You're 30. Yeah. I don't know how old Jono is. But 30. I would never. <laughs> I'm 33. Invite... It says in the post. Okay, okay, 33. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I would never invite someone 16 years old over to as a friend or anything i know I there's obviously something wrong with, with a 16 person. year old like, for a meal well no. see, wait wait that's that's hold on because we play a lot of video games right this is something yeah. that i don't remember what i was listening to but this someone was talking about this where it's like before whenever like there was no online interactions it was a lot more strange for a 30 year old to know and interact with a 16 year old right it is still kind of strange but it is like mm. When it's, I know a ton of fucking young people on Xbox when I play Rainbow Six Siege, like or or Rock Band. Both of those games have quite a wide variety of like age ranges, and and it's very they're very like what is it communal games like you want whenever you play siege you want people that you know are reliable to be on your team. It doesn't matter what age range they are. I would <laughs> never invite them for a meal across this across across the country. This is where it gets very fucking weird. It is weird. <laughs> it's not I weird mean, to be like friends online in a video game with somebody that's younger, but like that is immediately like the yeah. the boundary is like, crossed once no you're trying chance. to bring that to the real life. Yeah, this is very fucking weird. Like you can play online, like you don't know half the time who how old people are or whatever, obviously. But like this guy knows this kid is 16. Yeah. And he still likely. invites him. It's like, why don't you come on down? Me and my wife will cook you up, we'll cook you up something nice. <laughs> Dude, we'll cook you up meal. something real nice. Dude, this is bad. I know it's weird because, like, I'm trying to think of, like, my experience. Like, what's the what's the youngest you've played with? I remember, like, growing up, we had a friend, De friend of the pod, Defcon. He was, like, five or four years younger than us. So, and we would actively play games. So, we're, like, 18 years old playing with a 13-year-old. Dude, yeah. you know, like, Defcon was that young? 
He was a lot younger I than us. I did not. Was he still is? Yeah, <laughs> currently okay. is. Well, it doesn't matter. Like he's aged five since. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I was thinking about this because one time this happened uh, when I was playing Magic, where this was back when I was with Madeline. Um, I, I live right next to the fucking big the game shop. Again, the biggest game shop in Oklahoma is like a, a block away from my house. And so a lot of times after they close at midnight, we come over and we play we play at my house. We drink and we just, you know, party. We listen to music. We listen to our own music and shit. And it's like one time I brought a, a, like a 17-year-old dude over. And careful nave i don't i didn't think about it but whenever i brought him over <laughs> no so it wasn't just him so it was uh, me don trey the 17 year old and then this older guy this guy that's like maybe 40 and so we all came over we were playing magic and then whenever everyone left madeline was like that's kind of weird having that really young because don trey's also a lot younger than us and so but but this person's younger than don trey so it's like there was this weird dynamic but obviously we were just sitting there playing magic for, until like maybe 2 a.m and then they went home so it's like whatever but I didn't think you don't think about that except whenever you're like in these when you're in these situations where just kids happen to be interested in the things that you're interested in as well. It's like here are you playing pocket circuit with the six year olds, <laughs> you know what I mean? God. And he's like, God, I need that picture in the fucking thumbnail now. Kiri it's so stupid. Celebrating. But. From y- Yakuza. Yeah. yeah. That's fucking funny. I don't here, I'll oh, show, I gotta show I because Jonah obviously doesn't know. I gotta show Jonah. You start talking. Well, no. Well, okay. I'm thinking about it. Like my my like 12 year old daughter has invited me to play like Fortnite with her, and then she's like, "Hey, we should play with my other 12 year old friends." And I'm like, "That's not great." Like, I, <laughs> I don't want to play with 12 year olds. Not to mention I mean, these are kids that live down the street. So just imagine like, like it, I'm I'm not, I'm not a crook. But it's like next thing they're like, oh yeah, I'm just playing <laughs> Fortnite with Emma's dad. Or be like, I, I don't want to hear that. Those they don't are all there. That. I play with my nephews. I play with my nephews before. Yeah, but that's nephews. These are like school children that my my daughter goes to school with. Like, it, I, I think it's I'm different like, I I when it's your friends. when it's your daughter. Yeah, well, no, I'm not. I'm not talking about playing friends. with my daughter. My daughter's friends. And like, I don't even know all their parents' names, and they're gonna be well, like, or, what if they do know me? And that's even weirder. They're like, oh yeah, yeah you playing with, daughter... with Philip? Wasn't well, playing, <laughs> yeah, Philip, ew, yeah. not that one. Yeah. Maybe just she don't, just playing, don't full obviously. on, that don't full weird. on sweep kick them. I don't know, like just be um, gentle with them. I don't. They're children. Don't make it weird. <laughs> no, I'm not making it weird. But, oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, this guy is making it weird though. Being 33, inviting a 17 year old, 16 year old. Yeah, this, this yes. is making it weird. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Yes, this uh, is, he's not an asshole. Not so yeah, the, the dad is not an asshole for blocking him from going across the country to meet is it a, a dad? stranger. Are we uh, doing this again? It says oh, husband in here. Is it a gay uh, dad or is it a woman? Uh, it's got wife. Be, it's a mom. If I my husband, that pay, assuming that they're not gay, yeah, which is possible. <laughs> I guess. All right. My yeah. Son. Yeah. It doesn't mention what she. It, I, yeah. Bo all right, but we're all in agreement. Uh, mom's not an asshole for blocking. No. Him. No, absolutely not. This is super weird. First comment pretty much sums it up. It's like explain to the kid what grooming is and why you are saying no. Yeah, see now you put it. That's why I put that warning there because there's possibly grooming. (laughs) Man, that's fucking weird, dude. Well, I mean, that's probably not the worst that's fucking happening in World of Warcraft online. All right, I'm next up. Uh, I found one. I think this one's kid related. I always love a good kid related one. Oh, God. All right. Because usually the the joke is always, yes, they're an asshole for being a kid. (laughs) This is from a main account, I believe. Wide guest, 433. (laughs) (laughs) Just looking at his his stuff, he's posting on r slash (laughs) LSD. LSD. Nice. Uh, Tales from call centers. Apparently they work in call center. This is a woman. Okay. Wow. We're hitting a lot of those lately. We're not, it's to the point where I think we're just purposefully going man now because eventually we're going to be correct. Maybe. You got to double down. Oh, they're a Dance Gavin Dance fan? This is so this, this person this, seems. This person's my friend, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I want to be buddies guy. with this guy. Do you know a wide guest? Yeah, a wide, wide guest. person who's often a guest places? 433 times, maybe? Maybe. Maybe to Game HQ. 
This one's fresh. <laughs> 26 days ago. Ooh. Am I the asshole for not paying my husband back for our daughter's purchase? Question mark. Uh, Reddit has already identified her as not the asshole, but we'll see. I'm not necessarily a stay-at-home mom, but I do have our daughter every day while I watch two other children. They are all four, so I still make money and pay half the bills. Slay, sis. Uh, Wait, so she's like a, a... She's a nanny. Nanny? Is that what it is Babysitter. Mm. I don't know. I feel like babysitter is like a temporary thing, but nanny's like committed. Yeah, I think nanny is when you bring the kid to them, which is what it sounds like. Because yeah, babysitter, like a, you go and stay at the house of the child, right? And a, Yeah, if it's a daycare, then you have like a center kind of thing going on. But this is just her house. None of this matters. <laughs> no. We're doing the stupid English definition thing again. All right. I was in the room with my daughter while she was playing a video game. I was folding laundry. I was paying more attention to my laundry, and my daughter went to the home screen and selected currency to purchase in a game. This was a video $50 game purchase. Yeah, oh gaming mentioned. God. This is a $50 purchase. My husband's card is connected, so he was charged. He gets the notification instantly that his card was charged and comes in the room asking what happened. I didn't know. <laughs> like someone touched the thermostat? <laughs> Who's buying microtransactions? Yeah, like how do you do you have a do you have instant notifications on your credit card? Like yeah. I yeah. don't. I would, I've never turned that on. I've never How often are you buying things? Like uh, I try crazy. you gotta track your purchases. I don't know, I don't. I well I have <laughs> so when I buy something off. when I buy something on Microsoft store, it always sends me an email receipt. So Yeah, I get yeah. emails and shit. Yeah. Emails mostly, not like uh not like transaction reports from like my banking app or anything like that. I guess I get an email. Mm. Maybe he's talking mm. about an email then. All right. Continue. I didn't know since I didn't see. And he explained the charge on his card and realized she made the purchase. He said, it's fine. I'll just have to pay him back. I asked why, since it's also your child. And he agreed to let her play. And he didn't put a pin protection on so that this wouldn't happen. He said, you were the one watching her. <laughs> I don't think I should have to pay him back for this incident since it was an accident and she's four. I wouldn't expect <laughs> him to pay me back either if the roles were reversed. He's still expecting payment, though. Am I the asshole for refusing to pay him back? All right, there is an update, but before we get to it, uh, you guys want to weigh in. Is he an asshole for is he an asshole for declaring that she should pay him back 50 bucks? Yes, 100%. This is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, how, like how dare it's she? his daughter too. Yeah, but he wasn't watching her. It's like I don't know. Yeah. Like imagine, My like wife. if you're supposed to be watching, uh, I don't know, your kid do something, and then they do something that cost money, then you it's like fifty bucks. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Ah, well, we'll see. <laughs> They're obviously well, have separate a... finances too. Yeah. They're, Yet like, she's still able to separate. cover half the bills. Babysitting? That's impressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, that wow. means that the husband is not bringing in that much money. <laughs> well, I don't think if he's upset about a fifty dollars purchase on, uh, he'd yeah, be like, that's probably, he's probably, it. and he's got like notifications, everything like that. Like he's obviously strict with his with his purchases. And yeah, man, is... turn the lights out whenever you leave the room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, that kind of counts. <laughs> yeah. Dude, uh, I got a direct one to one for this for me. Like, I don't, I cannot understand like what it like if if okay. This is the story again of my, the my ex's little the, brothers brothers breaking my drum set like my drum the symbols on my rock band drum set and those things Whoa. are like three hundred dollars. Um, I just it's like dude, they're children. This shit just kind of happens. It's a total accident. It fucking sucks. And it's like I loved those things. I love playing on the drums with the symbols, and now I don't got them. But it's like you can't i can't just look at her and be like hey you have to pay for that like you have to give me three hundred dollars <laughs> you know what i mean you owe me yeah. three hundred dollars what that's so no bizarre yeah, right you'd at least knock it down and be like we'll do 125 yeah you gotta <laughs> barter barter it down it's like so uh you know anytime you have that 300 bucks you know for your kids breaking my my drum set yeah anytime yeah i mean he can negotiate with her and be like hey instead of the full 50 since it is my daughter i'll go have these 25 no, you know what you do? Every time that you go out to eat and she pays the bill, I'll be like, I'll take that out of that 300 Yomi for the drum set. Oh, dude, that, that <laughs> yeah. is such an asshole move for so long. Yeah. Yeah, that's $40 <laughs> off the ledger. 
Yeah, no, I think this guy is uh, is an asshole. I would say, like, like they're it's their child. They're a fucking or, or sorry, not the a hole, not the a hole. It is yeah. their child. The That's, woman and is not four the years old. Hold on, let's see the update. There's more information yeah. to be garnered here. Okay, or an M Night Shyamalan twist. <laughs> yeah, it's like, and then I hit him. Like, Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I murdered him. <laughs> update. He contacted the company and was able to get a refund since she didn't use the currency and he put a pin on it. I'd also like to say, despite this interaction, we don't generally argue about finances. We both like the way we have it set up. It's worked for us for half a decade. We do split the bills of the house, but he also has a car payment for his vehicle that will be mine once it's paid off and I won't have to spend a dime on it. And then he'll get his next vehicle. He also pays for most of our vacations or trips out of town and when we go out to eat, etc. If he wants to make a large purchase over $300, he talks to me about it first. He's a great dad and provider. He does a minimum of 50% of the house chores, but honestly, usually more since he has OCD and he does most of the cooking and meal planning. I'm not sure if an issue like this will come up again since either of us have, have added pins to our devices. OCD introduced to the mix. Oh, great. Which makes kind of sense a little bit like yeah, looking, I, <laughs> looking yeah. back at it. I think he's just, maybe he was just having a bad day, you know? It does sound like a bad it day. It doesn't seem like it's something, judging by his description, by her, that he would do. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like and, we know this guy so well already. <laughs> yeah, but not her. So is she an unreliable narrator as she oh, goes to bat for him completely? Yeah, <laughs> like, she goes to bat for this guy. Like, he seems like a cool guy, good dude. Yeah. He pays the bills. Been together for a whole decade, and this is the first time half for decade. transactions. Half decade. Oh, wait. Yeah, you're right. Never <laughs> so for five years, he hasn't complained about the Candy Crush purchases until now. Fuck, man. Yeah. It's good that they, they refunded it. Yeah. Not the asshole. I, I mean, I would just say, hey, just say count as a fraudulent charge or something. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, literally, I literally think you could just tell them, hey, my child pushed a button on a cell phone. And then they usually, I think that they will, like, refund you for that. Mm. i'm pretty sure like i think i don't know because i don't have a kid but i'm pretty sure i've heard stories of this where kids are charging shit and then the bank just like rolls it back like oh okay. yeah okay here's another point that one of the comments raised is what if she was being like uh oh, what's it called non-diligent in her watching like if she was over there watching tv or day drinking says one of the comments <laughs> would she have to pay him back then Mm. If she's lit in the uh, corner, <laughs> or I don't know, man, it's the that's the least wow. of the is the problem. You know what I mean? To call back to a daydreaming. previous one, if she's over there playing Dead by Daylight on PlayStation Four or whatever, <laughs> and the four year old spending microtransaction monies while she's gaming, would she be an asshole? I mean, yeah, we certainly don't know the whole story, but. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I don't, don't think she would be the asshole in that situation either. From this <laughs> side. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe the kid is an asshole, and that's why she had to drink during the day. You know? Yeah, She's just sum it up, the four-year-old is an asshole. <laughs> yeah, the four-year-old's the one tearing this marriage apart. Yeah, just mashing buttons in the menus of Fortnite or whatever the hell it is. You oh, God help is. me if it's Fortnite. I will, oh, <laughs> God help me. Also, what's a four-year-old playing Fortnite? You think they can do that? They got the skills? They got the trigger discipline? Dude, yeah, man, they're starting younger and younger, man. Did you? See, we just talked about the thirteen-year-old that just beat the te- dog shit out of Tetris. Then fucking beat like Ballers. what? Is- yeah, I guess I didn't remember that the kid was four. <laughs> well, mm-hmm. what the hell could game she could have been then? What the hell? I, I assume it's just one of those stupid tablet games or whatever, like Unicorn oh, okay. Groomer Four. Which is yeah, like a Unity <laughs> asset flip. I was thinking like the way you in, where you invite the unicorn to Chicago for some deep. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid, Nave. Do you have an asshole you would like us to save? Yes, seventy two. Seventy two. Seventy two. Right. That's so deep. Yeah, I hope I this just one's good. Deep cuts. Deep dish. We're going the deep cuts of the album. Oh God, <laughs> this one's meaty. All right. Uh, Nimon Han asks, "Am I the asshole for not telling my family I have a YouTube channel?" Oh boy! <laughs> had to I'm, had to wait. Is this a main account? He's only got one post, from what I can tell, and it's this. Okay, because it says I had to revive. 
something, whatever. Had to revive this old account after a year of not using it. LOL. LOL. Past- <laughs> random. <laughs> yeah, so LOL random. Uh, for the past few years, I have been uploading gaming clips to YouTube. And for about a year now, I've been streaming on Twitch. It's always been a hobby of mine since I was still... Uh, since I was still in school and now have a research job, but I monetized my channel last year because the extra income is nice. The extra fifteen cents is this guy? Is this guy huge? Wow, I don't know. Phillip. I don't think he ever links his I mean, channel. What <laughs> Google like, Nemo hand? Oh see, if he's, right. see, that's his YouTube YouTube handle. To be to be monetized on YouTube, you have to have at least five hundred. I think five hundred subs. But oh, he hit two hundred k subscribers. Keep reading. All right, so. The only people who know I stream are my roommates, a few close friends, and my employer. They're okay with it as long as it doesn't affect my job imp- performance, which it hasn't. What? you running it by your employer that you stream? Okay. No, that's I not never. You... Is it? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, people in the military, yeah. It'll be, it'll be known, which is funny well, because I mean, your that coworkers sense. will make fun of you. It kind of <laughs> makes sense for the military. So they got to keep yeah. tabs on you in case you're leaking industrial secrets because yeah. of World of Tanks and shit. Because <laughs> it's become a fucking plague you now. Great, another World of Tanks situation. The zero days since military <laughs> secrets has been leaked to World of Tanks. All right. I've never told my family because I know my mom would have made a big fuss over privacy and security. What planet are these guys living on? This is three years ago. I understand that. I don't show my face in any of my videos or streams, and I don't give out any personal information for that reason. That okay, so this guy's I- obviously a kid, though. Like, he's a teenager. Well, it says right? he's yeah. a research job. Hmm. It sounds like he's a young man. Yeah, but he's been doing this for woman. years, apparently. Man or woman. I don't know. Just, yeah, I exactly. understand. So that. he was like a teen. <laughs> well, yeah, at the beginning, I assume. Hmm, hmm. Uh, it says, uh, I understand that. I don't show my face in any videos or streams, and I don't give out any personal information for that reason. That, and I'm deeply insecure about the everything about me, so the thought of my viewers connecting my face to my content is terrifying. Recently, I hit 200,000 subscribers. Holy shit. So my roommates and I celebrated by making a cake and blowing (laughs) up some balloons. I don't even want to read this anymore. Uh, uh, One of my roommates posted a picture on her Instagram story congratulating me. She asked before she posted, and I said it was okay. The next day, I woke up to see angry texts from my mother asking why I had a YouTube channel and didn't tell her. Apparently, she heard about it through my brother who I didn't know followed my roommate and saw the story. Now, hold on, wait. Oh, stabbed by the brother. Uh, yeah, backstab, dude. Fucking snitch. Uh, <laughs> do you think the mother's mad because she wanted to be his number one fan That's and support awesome. him from the beginning? That's kind of be it. Let's see what he yeah, we'll says. see. All right, it says, I don't know how much they know since my roommate didn't say what my account name was on her story. I tried to clarify, say that it's just... It's just gaming clips. But then she accused me of wasting my time <laughs> playing video games okay. and how that reflects yeah. poorly on me. And now my mom is angry and demanding I delete the account. Oh, my God. This is just living with roommates. He's not even at home anymore. <laughs> I, like, why what? I feel like I'm the asshole, Colin. I started the account when I still live with my family without asking, so I shouldn't even have my account in the first place. Oh my god, it's Dude. it was original sin or what relax. is this? <laughs> you relax. The sins you of guy. the father. What, what yeah. are you doing here? Yeah, I don't even think this is like like why are you even? I think he was just maybe just mad at his mom and he had to vent, so he posted this. Like, there's no way. I think what? anyone could say he's the asshole in this, right? Well, no, he's been keeping a secret for years, <laughs> oh lying to his God. family, to their face. Mom's yeah, like, everyone was... at Thanksgiving, no one has a YouTube channel, right? <laughs> right? right, yeah. And they yeah. all go around individually and say, yes, mom, I do not have yep. a YouTube channel. And you. And yep. you. <laughs> no, yeah. mom. Every day they have to they have to bow and disavow video gaming. <laughs> and Which is a waste of time this and reflects poorly on ever. all of us. Yeah. This is. So, did she not know he was fucking playing games at home? Dude, that's what the, that's hell the weird part. It's like <laughs> she probably bought the video games for him that he played. <laughs> yeah, this is just really dumb. Like your mom's an asshole guy. <laughs> well, no, okay, I so mean, apparently he was What's when up? he first started uploading. He was eighteen. Oh, oh pff, you're good. That's the comments. Golden. Yeah, you're golden. I don't know what fucking planet these guys are living on. This is yeah, like this is crazy. This is an alien species. All right, what what 
state do you think these people live in? My, I'm going with <laughs> Alabama. No way. What do you mean? Alabama. Where, where are we do? Where are we doing this like hardcore stance on privacy on the internet and stuff like that? Where is that happening? This is not California. This isn't well, no. happening in Washington D.C. It's definitely a South, a South American, not South American, South state. <laughs> yeah. South America. It's definitely Ecuador, <laughs> Brazil. <laughs> Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so if you're in Russia, maybe don't expose yourself on the internet. Like, I I understand that. Like, I don't, if you could get disappeared in China over some weird, uh, like, Tiananmen Square oh, yeah. bullshit on fucking CSGO, oh, then yeah, so many maybe don't. Yeah. yeah, our fucking entire uh, podcast well, you vanished. You couldn't even do that. But yeah, uh. I mean, yeah. That is true. We don't know where he is. It's like God. It's like our China rep, uh, uh, yeah. the gaming together yeah. China rep, is like, God damn it, Nave! Fucking yeah. four, 120 episodes since he brought that up, and now it's back. <laughs> All right, not yeah. the asshole. Not the asshole. Uh, Mom needs to stop telling him to delete the account. <laughs> like, that's so Imagine he makes like I don't know a thousand bucks a a month from this with 200k subscribers, like. It's like, I'm yeah, like, okay, mom, I'll delete my account. <laughs> <laughs> Just pay her off. Oh, dude, <laughs> make another account and then delete it and send her the screenshot and be like, I deleted delete it. The Keep the way. lie going. She yeah. doesn't even know what his name is on YouTube. We don't even know what his name is on YouTube. No, yeah. he hasn't leaked it. So, yeah, um, maybe we should, should just find tell out her, his name, say, okay, yeah, find I out did. where I his mom is, let her know. Yeah, yeah has... <laughs> send her this clip from Gaming <laughs> yeah. Together Cooperative Podcast. <laughs> You're like, this is what I was worried about. This is why I told you to delete your account. Now people on the internet are talking about us. Yeah. Send him good congratulations to his work. Congrats. Yeah. Congrats to Tuner K. Three years ago. All right. Anything more for this guy? <laughs> this is Doug Doug or someone like we watch. <laughs> oh, I, mean? I love Doug Doug so much. <laughs> Doug Doug. Yeah, Doug. He's, he's so good. He does a lot of Peggle stuff and AI stuff. He does not do Peggle stuff anymore. <laughs> no, he, he just did like Peggle trivia like five months ago. Yeah, just did it five months ago. I'm perpetually five months in the past with everything, so it's I like, kind of am too. What is Peggle? Oh my god! <laughs> it's what those fucking. It's what that couple's gonna do to that sixteen year old. Oh <laughs> yeah. Hey, with that, let's oh, take a like short a break. Shitty. It's shitty. It's a, it's made by PopCap. Think about feeding frenzy. Your um, what other don't, games? <laughs> heavy weapon. Dude, don't knock it till you try it, brother. That shit is that shit's yeah, crap. It's like so a it's hyped. Like Candy Crush style game. No, it's Match more like colors. um, what are the Japanese casinos? Uh, pachinko. Yeah, it's like pachinko, but pachinko. you control the shot, and so yeah, you yeah, drop okay. the ball, and you want to hit pegs as you go down the score. Oh, okay, okay. And the okay. pegs disappear as you shoot. But there's and like then whatever. Can... What's up? Yeah, you have to hit the orange ones. That's how you you yeah. pass. And then as soon as you do it, it goes. As it, and it goes in slow motion. It's like <laughs> as you fucking win, and you're just like fucking dude. It's so high, shaking, <laughs> right, shaking I'll and pissing. Buy it right now. I don't care. I don't care how much it costs. I'll Peggle two is better than Peggle one, for the record. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Don't forget the <laughs> DLC. All right, yes. let's take a short break, <laughs> and then we'll come back. We're already back. Oh, are we back? Welcome back. Yeah. Uh, X Defiant. <laughs> Does anyone need a bathroom break? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I need to get a drink. Hold on. Why I need to get this? a fucking drink. I'm so thirsty. Okay. Hold on. We are not Just back. Man, I'm getting better at putting these on, these fucking things. Are those like the uh, air tube headphones? They're IEMs, in the ear monitors. Ooh. Have you guys seen the air tube headphones? No, air tube. Yeah, so you know how, like, whenever you put like Bluetooth headphones or other headphones on, you're getting a lot of internal radiation straight to your brain? Okay. What? So instead of. <laughs> <using> that, <laughs> They've developed Air 2 headphones, which are like, they wear like stethoscopes that doctors use. So you can put them on and probably get the worst quality audio you possibly can transmitted <laughs> straight through these air tubes into your brain. What the fuck? Let me see if I can pull it up. Straight into your brain? Well, not into your brain. 
It's just your ears. Okay, what the fuck does it do? Radiation free. Yeah, that's the whole point. Is like if you want less radiation in your ears, you can use air tubed anti radiation. It, it's fake. Like, like <laughs> just for the record. <laughs> Just for the record. I, yeah, just I wasn't record. believing anything you were fucking yeah, saying. I see no, this is on no they TikTok, are real. Yeah. But I'm saying that this is a, a fake thing. You're not getting like radiation to your brain from your Bluetooth headphones. <laughs> these look wired, though. These ones. No, no, it's a wire that goes to a tube. That's a small tube. Yeah. Wait, oh, Bluetooth has like to wire? emit radiation of some for- kind, right? Yeah, it's a radio radio waves that's already transmuting. Like you're sitting next to a Wi-Fi router right now, in the same yeah, the that's... same blast. Yeah, I wasn't saying it's matter. gonna give me cancer. I was just what saying everything. 5G, huh? you, uh, I was just correcting you because yeah. somebody decided to show up and go, Philip. Actually, because you said it doesn't do it at all, and I was like, wait, <laughs> no, no it, yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah, there's radio waves. This is oh god, this is a standing in front of the microwave situation. Like mm-hmm. it's I, okay I don't want to stand in front of the microwave. <laughs> Steven scared our friend Steven scared me from that. I don't well, no, like to do it just because it's weird. Broken. Dude, we our friend Steven had a microwave that didn't have glass on the front of it. And so when we turned it on, we would like fucking leave the room. Like What I, the fuck? It's like a dentist in the x-ray machine. They <laughs> just step out. Did it heat food? I don't know. I don't remember. Like, I just Does that even work? I never even considered microwaves to be dangerous until I saw that one. And I was oh like, wait a minute. God. I would <laughs> this can't be it, good. Sure. Uh, so stupid. Uh, okay. Speaking of broken <laughs> microwaves, X Defiant, mm-hmm. published and developed by Ubisoft, specifically Ubisoft San Francisco, released 5-21-2024. So this one's fresh. Oh, yeah. Uh, with a release date of only six days ago. Is that real? Was there yep. like a pre-release? Because I feel like other yeah, people... There was, there was a, a beta. There was two okay. betas, I think. We were playing it before. I played it during the first beta. Uh, but yeah. So we're playing this on release. Yeah, uh, this, the description's way too long. I'm not going to read all of this. Uh, X Define is a free-to-play first-person online arena shooter where you compete in fast-paced clashes with cross... Oh, excuse me. I burped. Cross-play available at launch. You will be able to play with friends on a variety of platforms... Uh, the only thing relevant in here is factions. Factions are drawn from iconic Ubisoft worlds yes. uh, and represent distinct classes, each with unique abilities and ultras. Choose any character from any faction to assemble your team of six players. Change your faction at any point during the play to adapt to your strategy. Okay. Uh, there's a whole bunch of more stuff about new content maps and all that stuff. I'm not, I'm not it's reading basically that. Free Overwatch and Call of Duty. Completely free to play together. Too. Yes, free to play. Uh, absolutely. So preconceptions absolutely. coming into this game. I heard I saw that it was Ubisoft and I was like, Ubisoft stinky. Uh, uh, this is going yeah. to stink. Hmm. I, got, I was the opposite. So you didn't play the well, beta. I, I, no. I, I, I know Ubisoft sucks, but I also know Rainbow Six Siege is like the best shooter on the market right now. And so I'm like, hmm, well... They make Rainbow Six Siege, so maybe this will be like Siege, and that's what I thought. Also, the name sucks. The name makes me not want to play. Oh, I it. hate the name. What What does the that's name really even weird. mean? I don't. Is know. the X I think for like the, cross? Like yeah, I think cro- the X is cross. Okay. Cross defiant. Well, no cross. Like all the different Ubisoft uh, mar- yeah. markets or whatever coming together. I don't know what the defiant part is. That sounds like a Guardians buzzword. Ubisoft <laughs> is not going away. They are defiant. They are not going uh, anywhere. Despite which, what you two you guys, guys do think. Ubisoft or Ubisoft? Ubisoft. Uh, I say you. Ubi. Yeah. U? Ubi? 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 I say Ubi. Ubi. Ubi? I don't know why I, do, I say that. I well, know. like USB? Like, I don't know. Like, the, I just. When I see yeah, U at the beginning, a, I just That's an acronym. U. This is a word. Yeah, but, but so the acronym probably, stands for universal something something. So yeah, like but, it's still it not, worked, it's not, not a gift gif situation. Oh god. You, yeah. you say universal or universal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tough. Let me look up why they they named themselves Ubisoft. Uh okay, Ubi is short for ubiqui- ubiquitous. Oh god, how do you pronounce okay. this? Okay. So it is Ubi Ubi. So if we're going off of ubiquitous, ubiquitous. then it's UB. Yeah. U- ubiquitous, Philip. <laughs> <Ubiquitous>. God. <laughs> Sorry, my, my pronunciation might be off. 
Yeah, uh, the Japanese the, brain, man. The universe. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, Ubiverse. <laughs> All right, All right, so, yeah. yeah, what about you, Jono? Preconceptions before you started it up? Well, I played the beta. Um, it was, I was, I would liked it from what I played in the beta. It was, it was pretty short. There was like a weekend or something like that. Um, but the servers were not good in the beta. Oh, God. So Surprise. it was kind of hard to tell, like, if the game, you know, was actually good. Or if we're feeling mostly like the shit servers, but yeah. some like when it was okay, like when the servers were okay, it did feel good, and I liked what I played. So I was kind of looking forward to the release. Yeah. So whenever we got into it, like I, I don't know how you guys felt, but like I came in super low, and I was very surprised how this game is actual quality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's actually a good, a good game that I wanted to keep playing mm -hmm. as. Instead of like some games where like when we played Call of Duty, there was never a moment when I'm like, I, I want to play another game. It was always like, <laughs> I guess I'll play another game where this is like, I could do another match. I could do another yeah. round. Philip specifically yeah, referring to easy, Warzone. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm referring to Warzone. Yeah. Warzone. Yeah. I don't think Phil's played Call of Duty multiplayer game in a fucking while besides Warzone, right? Um, well, no. I mean, I just don't play a lot of multiplayer arena shooters, I guess. Like we played the finals. And the finals was good, but I was also dog shit at it. So how I, it, it, how do you connect this to the define to the finals? Like, I, what, I like, like the, what do you think? I liked it way better than the finals. I thought the finals was good. I think this is a. I enjoyed I like my this time with this. Than finals. A little yeah. bit spoilers for final words, but I, I final words. I definitely enjoyed this <laughs> more than the finals, as far as like the shooters that have been coming out recently. All right, that word's starting to lose meaning. So yeah, the, uh, I also I think yeah. Defiant X Defiant plays way more smoothly than the finals does, but I think I think the finals like their game mode is more interesting it than is more anything X Defiant does. More interesting, yes. Absolutely. And the movement is more interesting too. But yeah, this is almost like simplified as far as like movement and maps. Everything is like dumbed down, which I appreciate as a dummy. It's well, not like overly complex, this, doing gears and all that stuff. The movement's pretty good in this game, though. Yeah. Like, you can air strafe, yeah. which is cool. Like, you can, if you're jumping, if you do a slide jump, you can strafe in the air, which is very fucking cool. Because I haven't felt that in any other games other than Apex. Like, that's an Apex thing, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, it it's quick. Like, you can run pretty quickly. The sliding, slide jumping, like, I like that. It's, it's cool. The sprinting the is I, fast. Everything yeah, like, is so fast. Everything yeah, else. like you put your if you put your pistol if you bring your pistol out you just fucking fly around and you slide jump around you can you do take fall damage though you do like a little bit it's pretty low yeah there's not too many places where you could fall yeah, exactly. very far so yeah there's like a there's like a couple of like places with some scaffolding that you can jump off or something like that but but yeah it's uh, the one thing that I don't like about the movement is the fucking con constant bunny hopping that everyone uh, is fucking doing you, you got a bunny hop. disgusting you, can, you got some ups in this game yeah you can jump but like if you're on controller and you can do that like that start they started doing that in warzone this season like i started noticing a lot of that it's so fucking annoying man like because the controller players they just fucking hop around corners and they have aim assist so they don't have to worry about aiming while they're it's hopping it's, it's so ridiculous. weird. Like you should definitely take aim penalties for being in yeah. the fucking air. <laughs> yes, you should. It's so stupid. Yeah. Like, I. It's one thing I hate about Warzone. So like, as soon as that started happening to me, like I'm, I'm done. Like I'm not playing this game till they fucking fix that. But like from what I played before that, it also depends on um, input matchmaking. Because if I play on keyboard and mouse, people aren't doing that. Like, and if I lock it to keyboard and mouse lobbies, like I'm not seeing that. So you can kind of avoid it. And that's another thing that is cool about this game is the input-based matchmaking, which you don't see a lot. Yeah. Uh, no, I think you can do it in Halo as well, but... Oh, really? Yeah. But I don't know if you can actually see what input they're using. In this one, like, you can, like, see which person is using which controller, because, like, we yeah. did do mixed input for a while, too. <clears throat> yeah, I did, uh, I did mixed input, and then I... And you do have to you do have to set your your input in your settings in your lobby before the game. Like you can't change it mid game. 
So yeah. that's similar to uh, Call of Duty, I guess. But Call of Duty doesn't have uh, input specific matchmaking. I don't think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think so. No, they don't. No, it's only cross. Like you can turn off crossplay. So I guess that is a form of doing that. I guess. But um. But yeah. All right. So let's look at some of the factions. Uh, whenever I first started this up, I saw the Libertad from Far Cry in here, and that was a big ick for me. And I was not excited to see them <laughs> as an option. Is that the healer? Yeah, the healing class. Yeah. Because they have the uh, hitbox, though. Yeah, they, they're a lot she, smaller. They don't have armor like the other ones do. Mm-hmm. Uh, much like the Echelon, which are the Splinter Cell guys. So just going through the factions that are currently available at launch. We have the Libertad from Far Cry. The Phantoms from Ghost. Ghost Recon. Ghost Recon. Uh, Echelon from Splinter Cell. The Cleaners from uh, Division. And Dead Sec from Sleepy Dogs. Uh, Dude. So all of these, all of these guys have like passive abilities. Two activated oh, that you have to choose between. Watch Sleepy Dogs. dogs. Uh, and two activated abilities you can switch between, and then an ultimate, right? So yeah. the other night I was playing with the guys over at uh, Neon Pocket Dimension, and they had a bunch of people from their server. I had a full lobby of six people, and we were all drinking. And then I remember getting into an argument <laughs> with somebody because so the the Splitter Cell guys, their passive is that they aren't on the map. And then they have an ability where they go invisible, right? And yeah. so, but they, the guy was attributing that to the Ghost Recon people. I exclusively play the Ghost Recon people and know that they don't have the invisibility. So I'm trying to explain to them <laughs> that the phantoms. phantoms, the phantoms, and he's, like, but, he's like, but what do ghosts do? And I'm like, I'm not the ghosts. I'm not the ghosts. <laughs> like, it's the I'm name the of the game. It's the name of the game. God oh, damn it. Funny. Yeah, it's the so invisibility. Funny. I find I don't see it a lot because the scan is just better. Like it's better to have wall so hacks than yeah. to be invisible. The scan is good. The, the, the yeah, invisibility is good when you're doing the objectives like pushing the thing. That's it's better so that you maybe you could just get a little bit further. Maybe, but yeah. it depends on it really just depends, but almost always the scan is best. Just like yeah, on the, the Phantoms, almost always the fucking big shield is best because the they have a personal shield. The little shield. shield's good. The, the little shield sucks. Shield? No. Yeah. The little, uh, little shield, shield sucks. You right. Are you a riot shielder? Ugh. Riot Ugh. shield main. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> That's just cringe. Okay. That's cringe. So I started out really loving the Libertads with their healing aura or the healing grenades that they have. And I'm like, that's pretty cool because it just makes my teammates live longer. But then I noticed a lot of time my teammates are just never at the objective helping me (laughs) they're like trying to go 38 and one in the background and i'm like guys we should push the objective (laughs) meanwhile they're just getting headshots on the back line i'm like so i moved over to the cleaners which i didn't even know what like they were from the division until i was talking to jp about this like friend of the fun like yesterday Mm -hmm. and he's like all the garbage guys that set things on fire and i'm like yeah Yeah. the garbage guys (laughs) set things on fire because they their ability is like they have like a drone the drone sucks but the yeah, the, he has another ability that just sets himself on fire, and makes him explode with the fire bottle. It's not even like a throw a grenade; it drops it at your feet, so yeah. you just run into the objective like a suicide grunt from Halo, explode, <laughs> yeah. and everyone that's not like a phantom will die if they're next to you, which is yeah, like right just away. insane. Like the phantoms have like an extra like ten health or something, so they'll survive if they dude. Which uh, is it happens so often. You know how often like I'll survive with four HP and I'll just be able to get one more shot off. I'm just like, oh, like, like it yeah. just happens all the time. <laughs> I started using them too. They're, so the fire like guy's just funny. They're good. They're good. Yeah, I, I, I was playing him for a while because uh, the fire just does so much damage. Yeah, um, and I'm kind of almost does near damage the, with his bullets. Yeah, fire damage. Like, yeah, exactly. Everyone does damage with their bullets. Phil. No, I mean, he <laughs> yeah, gets fire bullets damage bonus. Do damage. They do like yeah, an no, extra like gets two like health dog. points. Which yeah, he gets a dog. That's the other thing is like you have set health in this, like 100 HP or whatever. And you can you know exactly like how much damage you take from a shot. So you're able, which I guess you, I mean, you can do this in other games as well. But in Halo, you don't know your health actual numbers type deal. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah. Whereas well, like in this yeah, game, think... you know it all. <laughs> Yeah, you got to break game. out the ruler and oh, <laughs> yeah. measure the bar. <laughs> Which I know in percent, Call of Duty, you have percent. like the armor numbers and everything like that. You know, like, oh, this will do 60 damage from here or whatever type deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, I like you can that. Turn on, uh, you can turn on number damage 
numbers, I think, as well. The tick when you like shoot you, and select how much damage you you do. Like so Borderlands like Apex. That's pretty like cool. Apex. Oh, Apex does that. Yeah. Which is uh, I love I love that it's almost like a little RPG element, you know, when you're shooting and you're doing like number yeah, damage. Numbers come I love up. that. That's so sweet. Which is, this game has pretty pretty good feedback when you're hitting things, like the the hit indicators. The, the, have really the good noise, sound effects. Yeah, the sound the, the t- is satisfying, very satisfying for a headshot. It's like a little bing too. Like yeah, ding, the ding. ding. So I kept yeah. fucking refer every fucking party you kept I was saying, in. Ding him. Yeah. Okay. Like, so him. no, it's dink. People, that is a Counter Strike like that's Counter Strike lingo because whenever you get shot <laughs> in the head, if they have a helmet, it goes dink because normally okay. if you get shot in the head in Counter Strike, you instantly die. No matter what, it doesn't matter. That game's very hardcore. But if you have a helmet, sometimes it saves you and getting hit in the head. It's just like in in uh, World of Tanks. Whenever we you just ricochet, him. yeah, we just, we dinged, just him. dinged him. But um, in this game, you will get a dink sound effect when you hit him in the head. There's no mm-hmm. like helmets or anything. So I would get pissed off because I'd headshot someone twice and still die. And I'd be like, I fucking dinked him twice. What the fuck? And everyone would be like, What are you talking about? <laughs> it's just a crit. It's just like a crit. It'll do a little extra damage, but yeah, and it has a little skull. But that's satisfying. Like I like. That. Yeah, I like the skull picture too. I'm like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like yes, mm. and they die quick. The headshots do a lot of damage, like as they should. Some, if you get good headshots, oh yeah. Next up, uh, final uh, faction, the Dead Sec from uh, Watch Dogs. This is the premium faction that's like kind of paywalled, unless you buy like the battle pass or whatever. And oh, really? they have a spider as like their yeah, their active, drone. and then they also Very have annoying. like a a big disable. And I think they have a little disable grenade too, or something like that. What's as their other yeah. disable? Like they just say turn off all the enemy's abilities for like abilities, ten seconds. Yeah. Oh, like silence. Yeah, it's a yeah, silence. It's like silence. Oh, cool, um, cool. And their their passive is when they use an ability, it, they make another one. I think without a cooldown or something. I don't know. It's something like that. None of us have this faction. I no. just looked at it because I was tired of dying to that fucking spider. Yeah, because once you get by that spider, it's fucking over. You just, yeah, you just, like you I was died. like, oh, I think it reverses your controls, man. I'm <laughs> pretty fucking sure because I tried to walk forward and I was like walking backwards and I was trying to look one way and it was looking another way. I was like, what the fuck is happening to me right now? And then I kind of looked down and I saw this fucking spider drone like electrified at my feet. I was like, oh my god, that's crazy. Yeah, and it's like they can just throw that out every you know ten to fifteen seconds and it'll guarantee to stop an enemy. <laughs> it just it just does it you know because it goes after is it like yeah i think homing? it runs around like like the dogs and call of duty type deal oh yeah i remember that the dogs and yeah. call of duty black ops cold war all right. so that's all the factions uh next up we have the maps like uh this goes right into like the yes, maps and game types cool. mm-hmm. so there's two different types of maps there's your arena maps these are like the standard uh, big kind of circles with like random spawn points all around. And then you have your linear ones, which are for like escort mm-hmm. time missions. Yeah, uh, you guys want to really talk about maps. escort? I hate it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. love it. Uh, this is. I, uh, <laughs> I turned it off of my uh, my playlist. Like my. Oh, you can do that? Playlist. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Once you're outside of the update. welcome playlist, you, yeah. you get to choose what you want to play. Yeah. You right. Click on. Uh, well, once you click on it now, there was an update. When we played at first, like on the first day, we played on like the first two days, something like that, right? Yeah. They're, they didn't have that. They just like had a welcome playlist and you played everything. And they didn't have the uh, the uh, the firing range wasn't wasn't enabled, like the practice thing. Oh, uh, yeah. And then they updated a couple of days later, a couple of days ago now, and they added the uh, custom playlist so you can turn off whatever game mode you don't want to play. So I did that. the escort game mode is just the Overwatch uh, Team Fortress push the push card. Push the payload. Yeah. Push the payload. Uh, in this one, it is a like camel donkey robot that looks like the <laughs> Boston Dynamics robot. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. It's like fucking fast. Just like everything else, it's yeah. so fast. Yeah, yeah The card fast. moves. It's yeah. so good. But it still sucks to play. Like I don't, I've never liked this game <laughs> mode in any game that I've played. Yeah. In this game yeah. specifically, I have I have I've I've probably played like twenty five matches of this game mode, and I've probably only had a close match twice. It is always a complete and total fucking blowout in one direction, <laughs> like either against me or usually against me. But sometimes <laughs> I'm on the blowing outside. Oh so. man, 
it's because of snipers in this game. Like in Overwatch, you have what one sniper, and only uh, one person can two? and only one person can do can it at them. a time. Yeah, yeah. Is so we'll in have this, like three guys. It's like in the fucking back with sniper yeah, blades. four guys in the back <laughs> just sniping the shit out of you. It's so fucking stupid. Like ugh, I hate snipers. I fucking hate them. There's a reason why. In let for this example, in the Call of Duty League, CDL League, I'm pretty sure snipers are banned. Like they don't use them because it's cheap as shit. You know what I mean? Like it's, yeah, it's a like stupid I can kill way that guy play. super far away with yeah, massive in damage. one shot. Yeah, <laughs> in one shot. So they channel me. It's called a GA, which is a gentleman's <clears throat> agreement to not use it. Uh, oh. But I, but in every escort, almost in every game on mouse and keyboard, is what I've noticed is the snipers are just like because you can quick scope so fucking easily and it's just. One shot and you're fucking dead. Oh, great. Cool. I hate it. I freaking hate it. Well, he fixes in games like Halo by making the sniper a power weapon where there's like only one that spawns in every two minutes or whatever. Yeah, yeah. but that's but an arena a, shooter. Another not thing about this. Halo is not a you, get kicked out of, you get kicked out of ADS when you get shot. True. Do you like, do that that's, that's, I guess not. No, you flinch. No. You flinch. There's, no, but, um, there's barely any fucking flinch. You can just. You can, shots. the way, we'll talk about this later, but the, you can set your loadout to where you have less and less ADS, ADS flinch. Oh, uh, yeah, so, you're right. Yeah. Um, yeah I, I lied earlier, better. though. Uh, so when I said the linear maps are only for escort, also they're for zone control. Did you guys even play zone control? Because I don't think this is in the welcome playlist no, at all. I don't, know I don't think it's is. possible to play this. I think it is. It's like one zone that moves around and you have to no, ca- capture that's, it. No, uh, that is uh, domination. Oh, or not oh, Occupy, King actually. King of the Hill? Occupy. What's is it like control? a push the zone type thing, like battlefield? Um, like battlefield. So what it is is there's five zones, and then you do two groups of two or one, and you take them over slowly. And they're uh, set. They have four segments. So it's like if you if you guys push to A and you take twenty five percent of it, it won't fill all the way back up to one hundred percent. It'll stay at seventy five percent, like left. So you're slowly chipping no, away at this thing. That. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's in the welcome playlist at all. There's another game mode that isn't there. It's called Hot Shot. We'll talk about that in a second. But this game mm-hmm. mode is pretty fucking oh, tight. Uh, it's way fucking better than Escort. And yeah, so, I mean, this sounds good. Yeah, it's way better than Escort. But again, I only played like three matches of it because I didn't even know it existed. We had to turn. We turned off the yeah. other four or the other three game modes so that we would only play the new ones. And um. I only still only played it like two or three times and there were always blowouts again, but it was, it was a lot more engaged. There's a lot more engagement. <laughs> Damn. What's I'm up? looking at some of these maps and I feel like some of these I never saw like Echelon just, yeah. HQ. Yeah, uh, but you can tell like what game they're from. Echelon HQ is a cluster. The design. You know what yeah, I mean? it looks like a small, small map. It's like, Oh, I'm in the division. One of the division maps. I can tell yeah. now. I, yeah. Or I'm in obviously in one of the Far Cry maps. That's cool. I like <laughs> I'm that. I'm in Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I like that. I, I really like the maps. They're they're hard though. They're they're not easy because there are a lot of angles and a lot of ways to get around. So it's hard to cover kind of every angle. Yeah. And the- I'm often just getting shot from behind like almost uh, exclusively getting shot from behind oh, yeah uh, <laughs> like, surprising it's, that it's is the a call of duty thing every death yeah. is from behind yeah absolutely. that is a thing in maps that have a lot more sight lines there are some yeah. maps there are either maps that are squares and there are maps that are rectangular as far as the arena maps are concerned and the rectangular ones in general are just better in every way like mm-hmm. emporium the one that is literally just a rectangle oh, and there's so a big good. like two-story area in the middle that one's very fun uh, and then the other one that uh, the other rectangular one, Nudiplex or whatever, Noodleplex, that's the Watch Dogs <laughs> one. Um, that one has the kind of big open area in the center, but then the two hallways on each side. And that one is extremely fun as well because it's it's hallway oriented. So there's not a lot of like sideways momentum happening. But whenever you get into maps like Liberty is fucking cancer. Um, the Pueblo is fucking cancer. Arena is even worse. Like it's like Arena, so. some of these maps are fucking just a nightmares to fight. Mayday, in. Show, yeah, also not great. Showtime is my least favorite one. Like that one is literally there are windows everywhere. There are fucking so many spots to camp. There are little corners you can hide in, or little spots where you can like have kill zones. And oh, yeah. each spawn, it's like, oh, what were they fucking thinking whenever they made some of these maps, man? <laughs> that map. 
Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know. That map is kind of like a it's like an a, is it called arena? Is that what it is? The arena uh, maps. Yeah, they call yeah. it arena maps. Which is weird Those that arena is an arena map. This one's called Showtime though, but I guess it's Showtime. like an actual like it looks like a hockey arena. And you're just like there's like a like a course set up on on down where the ice would be. That's what it looks like cuz there's like seats Oh, you're looking at arena shit. arena. Yeah, that's Showtime arena. Is, is the that Showtime it's a western arena? It's like a western. It's a cowboy town. set. It's like yeah, literally it's a movie, movie set. set. Oh, okay. Why I typed in this one says. Oh, hey, look I in guess. the notes. I got screenshots. Oh, I'm not even looking in the notes. I'm looking on Google. Oh, this guy. How do you know? How do you have some? Can we remember the names? Yeah, any? I thought you guys were just really fucking into it here. <laughs> no, we got notes. Okay, okay. Arena, yeah, right. yeah. Noodleplex. <laughs> uh, I like Showtime actually. Showtime. It's I small. hate Showtime. Showtime it's is the small. worst map. We played it like twice, and each time was a nightmare. It's so small, though. Every single game I played on that map, I everyone hated it. Every, like, because I, I was playing in that group of six. I guess in both games, because well, I guess Jono was in some of our games too, huh? And he, I guess he likes it. But yeah. Philip hates it. I hate it. All of the people uh, I was playing with fucking hated that map. It, it is just an awful HQ. map. It's a map where like eight time, like eight deaths in a row will be from your fucking behind. Like, like no matter where you're looking, there will always be someone behind you somehow. And yeah, I didn't like Noodleplex because of that too. Like, because if you're going in the building, like you have no idea. Like you're covered from everywhere. There's, there's the way that on all the, sides. the way that with it, you had to no, follow noodle, the flow. Noodleplex. Uh, what it reminds me of is the black is the is the modern warfare map with the train. You know what I'm saying? You know that map? There's a train, and then there's a hallway next to the train. There's an yeah. area on the other side of the train, and then there's a building in the middle. But that building is in the center of the map now in Noodleplex. It's a big open area. So it's like the train is in there. It, like People who play Call of Duty know what I'm fucking talking about. But um, Which is hilarious, because in that group of six I was playing with, I every time we go into a new map, like four of the people I was with hadn't played the game yet, and I would describe it. I'd be like, this is like Favela and Yacht Had a Baby. And, and, you know, and they'd be like, oh, dude, I know what you mean. And then we go in. You know what I mean? So, but uh, yeah, the the maps are very hit and miss, like insanely hit and miss, actually. The linear maps are actually all pretty good, except the I fucking like one of the game modes they have on there sucks. So, yeah, I like yeah. Midway, actually. That's a good map. Meltdown, I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, Zoo. I, I think like Meltdown Zoo. was the worst one. Zoo's pretty good. I like Zoo. Yeah, yeah like Zoo's way in Zoo. But Times Square, we got fucked up. Specifically, yeah, Times Square is like, <laughs> no, I got PTSD. Jono <laughs> tried to like leave our party, but it, we were already joining the match. So he left our party, but it was still in the queue, I guess. And yeah. so he got placed on the enemy team. And we proceeded to get <laughs> destroyed by Jono's team. Like there's an old saying, was it like, uh, my opponent is not my enemy. Type yeah. deal or whatever. It's like Jono was our enemy. Like it was personal oh, yeah. with how many times, like how many well, times he and, killed me. And the fucking thing was <laughs> that me was and Philip had like three thousand objective score, and then all the other four people on our team had like maybe three or four hundred. Like yeah, they, they were just bad. were they were just nowhere to be found. Like just nowhere to be found. That's what makes I know me where so to find mad Phil at these fucking the game objective. modes, dude. <laughs> Phil always on the objective. Dude, I'm gonna go. No I'm gonna go kill go. Phil. This go is, kill again, Phil. He's on the problem. robot. And I'm like, no one is on the robot pushing. You have to be on the, the cart. Otherwise, it will not move. That's how, why, that's how it works. You got to push the load. And I, the teammates hey. out getting their KD up, while me and Nave are the only ones diving on the objective to get it pushed a little bit. Just I an think inch. I got uh, player yeah, of the game if, that, uh, that game, guys. Player of the if game. it stays... You know what's hilarious? Okay, so the first time we got on this map, I was bitching about it on the in the group <laughs> of six. And I was like, dude, this is fucking terrible. The last game I had was a nightmare. It's awful. And the, uh, the entire enemy team quit. And so the game ended instantly, and I got MVP. And I was just like, yeah, baby! I have fucking so redemption! Stupid. I'm the best! And I think it's only because my name in Ubisoft is it starts with A. So I think that they just had me in alphabetical order. Which, <laughs> talking about uh, play the games and MVP and stuff like that, we had one guy. Okay, so well, first off, when you finish the game, there is an MVP that's like best player across all the teams. Whoever's the highest player score, they get recognized and they do a little animation. Cool, whatever. There's no like play the game or anything. But after that, everyone gets a highlight where it's like, 
hey, Philip, he got the most healing because he was the only one playing a healing class. So he has 400 healing points or something like that. <laughs> and I'm like, that's great. But the best part was one game we were playing, we had some, one guy on our team, like we lost, I think. And we we're like, that was that teammates. game. That was that game where was I was it? playing against you. Yes. Our teammates suck. We were looking there, me and Nave have like really high scores of objective, teamwork points, and all that stuff. We're positive in our KDs, even like we're like out there. Meanwhile, there's someone on our team who it'll say like, hey, best in the match or personal best. We had a guy who was like personal best kill death ratio. <laughs> 0.72 or something like that. Oh my god! <laughs> and they were like, "Oh my god, this guy!" Imagine he was like, "Yes, Get yes." <laughs> He's fucking hyped over this. Point Which, seven. Yeah, not to overexplain it to your listener, but. The kill death ratio yeah. is the ratio of how many times you get kills for your deaths. So that means this guy is even getting never... a kill every life. Like he's getting seven <laughs> kills for every ten deaths. Yeah, and that's just and that is trend. the best he'd ever done. And that's ever the done. best he's ever. Done. And we still lost, even with this guy at the top of his game. At the Meaning, top of his game. God, it was so mad when I saw. I think I was eighteen and four or something that game. I guess yeah, you guys. which that put you at like a KD of what, like three point two or some? Some I don't even know. Like God, four More point that, four point four point five four point five. That dude went out straight monkey, dude. Um, yeah. the have you guys seen the fucking uh the BM things at the ends of matches? If somebody no. does so bad, they don't even get a highlight. No, because we got a couple thing? of those. Yes, we got a couple of them. So you know, because at the end it'll be like this person got the highest score with assault rifles, or this person was the highest echelon, even though he's the only echelon, the in, echelon the team, yeah. in the team. Yeah, yeah. Which is funny <laughs> enough, but if you do bad enough, you'll get things like showed up. Or was present. <laughs> I swear to God, these happen. Really? I yeah. Seen so that. here, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so here is a fucking thing. I saw was present and showed up popped up twice last night or the other night <laughs> because we were just too drunk. We were just wandering around. But look, some people are chiming in in the comments about more that they've seen. Apparently, like these are just like oh, there's like, so much like cryptids. Them. Yeah, it's that like one hilarious. says I saw walked around was present. Yeah. <laughs> What? made an effort <laughs> tried oh i've seen someone yeah. that said i've seen the tried one and i wasn't sure what it was that just means they sucked <laughs> like they yeah. were they did not contribute <laughs> to the game that is awesome dude it is man, so is fucking funny. funny man that is funny actually <laughs> there's something in warzone you can get that it's called the weakest link like if you really suck at the end <laughs> if you if you win that is you have to win the game for this to show up on your on your guy at the after the post uh, the post game and one guy will have like survivor you know he survived blah blah, blah. but there's one that says weakest link which means you almost <laughs> did sweet fuck all and my two buddies <laughs> my two buddies won a duos game somehow and they both had the weakest link fucking trade <laughs> I'm like, how did you do that? How did the other teams get killed by the storm? Like, like yeah, they didn't even they fight us. him. Yeah. It was the stupidest thing I've ever seen. It was so fucking funny. Dude, but that the, is sweet that they include that. At the end of the game, you can give your par- your teammates commendations, and it gives them like 200 extra experience or whatever, like mm-hmm. 300. And both times when one of the people on our team got showed up, <laughs> we would all fucking <laughs> give it to them. <laughs> you gotta give them the thumbs up. He dude. needs, it's it's like, he needs the XP, man. Yeah, he needs the give XP. The XP. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> god it's so funny that's a pretty good system like the referral system at the end where you can be like hey this guy did good and you can give him bonus points mm-hmm. which it was funny where like even whenever i'm doing like third best on a team i like i think it was like two different games in a row i just got all the thumbs ups for like objective play objective or something like points. that and i'm like yeah I'm gotta boys. play the objective man you gotta, gotta play, play the, the objective, objective. <laughs> so stupid every Every 10 seconds, got to play the objective. Which I don't even know what the XP does in this game. Like, it levels you up, but it, you have separate it gun weapon experience. XP? No, weapon XP yeah, is different. different. Yeah, weapon XP is so separate. So it's just, so just pass be your XP. battle pass XP. Or no, battle, the experience level? does go no, to the battle level. pass, it's but you have a level there. as well. Yeah, you have a mm. level. And I oh, think yeah. that like that is just level. like, it's just like in Halo Infinite, where you have your own like little I don't yeah. thing. It oh, it unlocks, it unlocks, oh no, that's the gun level. Yeah, gun level is what unlocks attachments. I don't know what the hell though. I guess it's just like for main looks. player level. Yeah. yeah. 
You're like, oh, I'm number you know, 438 level. Yeah, <laughs> prestige four. Which we can talk about gun levels. So leveling up guns, you just use the guns, you get kills. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can get attachments for it. Interesting thing about this game is you cannot like Call of Duty mega attach your guns. I guess like you can only have like five attachments on your gun and then your gun is full. Even yeah, though yeah. it has like seven slots. I think it's seven. Yeah, seven slots yeah, yeah. that could be filled. You're only able to have five filled, which so makes like you have to zone. pick and choose. Yeah. Oh, is that also in yeah. Warzone? Yeah, you got to I think there's five. Yeah, you're allowed five attachments. But in the multiplayer, I think it's more. But yeah, so uh, it's similar. But yeah, it's got a, like an RPG kind of element to it where you got to, you can change the stats on your gun. You can change Yeah, min-max your gun. Yeah, you can make it quicker or you can make it better for recoil. It's always a trade-off. Yeah, you can personalize your gun. So specifically, I was using the marksman rifle, the very first one, the MK20. Um, I, I definitely, I wanted it to not have as much recoil. So I did a whole lot of that, but I also wanted ADS because the gun is so slow that if oh, you get grabbed, if you get so attacked slow. first, you want yeah, the best that, of both worlds. Is that what you're saying? Well, yeah. No, so, too bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, not too bad because my gun's a fucking laser beam now and I am, I do great in every fucking match pretty much. Oh my God, this guy. <laughs> But well, we can talk about the different rifles or whatever, because they have assault rifles, which are your standard machine guns. Uh, you have your marksman rifles, which are like your DMR type things. Uh, you have your sniper rifles, of course, the SMGs and shotguns as well, and LMGs. Those last three, I don't think I've ever really seen anyone bothering to use those ones. I used a shotgun one time, one game, and it's horrible. Unless you're literally stuffing it into a guy's mouth. Like, there is no other... Uh, reason for it yeah the marksman rifle you can you can set because my marksman rifle also i have both of the attachments that increase like uh damage short range so mm -hmm. it is just a shotgun now you know what i mean the only mm -hmm. problem is that like when you aim i'm aiming deep so it's Nasty. like oh yeah you have to like like try and compensate for that but <laughs> and the hip fire is non-existent on oh, yeah, the hip fire it. is it's, <laughs> it's so funny how it just awful. doesn't exist in this game <laughs> Dude, yeah, it's it's, so it's more reliable in Counter Strike, and I have no idea how the, it's possible that they did that. Like, what isn't Counter Strike always hip fire? Isn't there no ADSing except for the sniper? In well, you can aim, but it's like you're not aiming oh, you down like sides. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. well, you do aim. It's just it chokes up the. Yeah. You're not physically looking down the site with your camera. You're like you. Your character's doing that, but you're like you're not slightly. doing that. Yeah, so yeah, it's just so that you can continue you have to, to like see crouch everything. so the crosshair gets really small. Pew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because no, there are guns like... in there, like the AUG. The AUG has a scope, obviously the op and the yes, yeah, yeah. But the scoped guns. But yeah, it's uh, yeah, the hip fire is absolutely trash, even on the SMGs. Really, like unless you're super close, it sucks. The shotgun wasn't bad actually, because that's obviously what it's for. But um, but the damage range is dog shit on the shotgun. You literally have to be point blank um yeah. yeah the the guns felt good otherwise like they feel pretty good the assault rifles anyway there's a predictable recoil pattern on each weapon that you can learn and kind of just reverse it whenever you're shooting and you'll shoot dead straight so that's similar to other games but actually call of duty is more random of a more random of um of a recoil it's kind of like it's it's not repeatable you know the general direction but it's kind of like yeah. And in this, like, if you go up against the wall and you spray it, you'll see the same thing, like, every time. So you can just kind of compensate. But when you do yeah. that, like, they feel really good. The guns feel really sweet. Yeah, and the amount of times, like, when you nail a headshot with, like, the marksman rifle and stuff like that, it feels real good. With yeah. Perfect ping. <laughs> and like, oh, that's, that's dink. perfect. It's a dink. Dink. Oh, excuse me. We're not yeah, pinging, dink. we're dinking. Yeah, we're ping dinking. is the M1 Garand. Uh, yeah. We dinking out here. We dinking out here. Uh, there was other things like, uh, can you? Oh, uh, dude! Speaking of ping, this game doesn't have a ping. Doesn't have a ping. It doesn't have a. Fucking what the ping. fuck? It's, it's, Are you oh, insane? Yeah, like, yeah, it's really dumb. That is unacceptable. Get yeah. on that shit, Ubisoft. What Even the Halo fuck? Has a ping. Rainbow Six has a ping. What? Like what? In your own game? <laughs> like what? You gotta. What yeah, the fuck are crazy. you doing? I don't, it's crazy. Mm, do we really? You need ping only if you're not communicating. 
No, I'm you like, still, dude. No, you, you don't really even know. I was in a fucking uh, match of six, and everyone was like, they're over there next to the car. And I look, <laughs> oh, and there's 73 call cars. Outs, and I'm just like, yeah. okay, which one? Yeah, me and Bill were actively trying to figure out call outs, dude. What if you're not playing with on headset with people? Well, you want to communicate with your... Uh... <laughs> I, I don't think pings are required. Like, we pings have pings in the multiplayer of Saints Row 1, and we got by just fine. Saints Row Dude, 1. Dude, nobody Come played on. the multiplayer of Saints Row 1 but what? us, Philip. The, the pimp slap minigame? It was great! <laughs> Although, you know oh what? That's true, though. You have a point. There was a, up to a certain time in in shooter games where the ping just wasn't the thing, right? Yeah, like, I it mean, only it only existed at a certain point, like probably within the last, I don't know, fifteen years. Which yeah, I don't think like... Counter Strike has it. I don't. I don't know yeah. if CS:GO two has it, but I know I'm pretty sure CS:GO never didn't had have it. Ping. But yeah, like, that's the thing ping. is that that game has like a everywhere is very. There's no spot that's exactly the same as another spot. In this game, yeah. there's a billion spots that are just like yeah. every other fucking spot. Yeah. He's by dumpster number twelve. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like what? There are yeah. some unique places, that like when, in the in the uh, the one map. What was it? Emporium. Me and Philip, like, we're starting to get like different callouts. We're like, oh, he's yeah. in kitchen. He's in kitchen, or like or the other way. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what we called the other way. He's in the other side of kitchen. But... Left escalator. We're doing a lot of just yeah. left and right based relative to our spawns. Yeah, and that works on the rectangular maps. The one that's yeah. the ones that I like. Yeah, the alley kind of maps. Yeah, I yeah, that really kind of I was searching for it for a good ten minutes in the settings too. I'm like, I, am I exist. am I sure that there is no ping? Like, is this just me missing it? Am I blind? Which, yeah, that was my thing. I was like, siege. dude, if, it is weird. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I was like, dude, I haven't seen a single ping. So if there is one, no one's using it. Like, and I was yeah. trying to explain it to, to the other yeah. people. It's weird because like the other games and like the other Tom Clancy games are probably famous for their pings, like marking targets in Splinter Cell. Or in Ghost Recon, you could also Ghost mark your ping targets. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, that is so a notable weird. feature of those games. And for the not You can do it in Far, in Far Cry. Dude, all of them. Like, they picked all these games that all have a ping, and they were just like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> we what don't to need do. it. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave it out. <laughs> Man, Our that sucks. Dude. All right. Uh, so, some other find... discussion points, or what you got? Mm-hmm. I was just going to say about the hit mark. Did you find that we were speaking of hit markers? Like when you do hit, it does sound and feel cool, like satisfying. But I feel like the hit reg, the hit registration is a bit fucking wonky. In this Not game. good. Constantly Not getting good. shot around corners. Like, yeah. I, dude, oh, I don't know what the fuck's dude, going on sometimes. Getting shot through concrete objects that are in front of me and i'm looking and i see the bullets literally coming through these objects i'm like what the fuck is this the fucking statue in the zoo yes yeah the statue you can shoot through that like you can shoot through the legs and shit like there's no hit detection on any of that yeah i've been i I was literally running in a circle around i was running a circle around with somebody and they just shot me through the leg and i was like what like yeah okay i didn't know i could do that i could have been shooting this whole time the hitboxes too are weird, and like the, the the Far Cry chick, her hitbox is so tiny, she's hard to fucking shoot. Yeah, and then you the have the big. Girl. You think Just, the big fire dude would be easy to shoot? If you shoot him on the back where his tank is, it doesn't register. It's like the hitbox isn't there. Like so, you don't you don't hit him. I was just like, "What the fuck?" I shot him like fifteen times in the back. I was joking like, about that anything. with that second group. I was like, "Dude, you actually have a leg up if you're playing the female characters." And they're just like, yeah. <laughs> "Silly knave!" And I'm like, "No, I'm big fucking for real. You gotta you gotta Dude. play the chick because they're a little yeah. bit smaller." I mean, it's like well, that no, in Apex. No. There's three big characters who take less damage. Their their hitboxes are bigger than everyone, so they take less damage. Um, and then there's ones that were smaller, so they. I think they get a little increase. Just like they had Brink. To rework them. Just yeah. like Brink. Yeah. Oh god. We, of course, like day one, Nave's like, "This is like good Brink," and I'm like, <laughs> "Every time we do like a Brink. team shooter, it's like, how does it hold up to Brink?" And like, <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't Overwatch be the uh, the the biggest? It should. It probably. No, like, Overwatch is bad Brink. <laughs> brink. brink is bad brink <laughs> brink what the fuck is this it's like let's get <laughs> microsoft shadow run on xbox 360 yo this looks like Windows. time splitters these characters look like time splitters are you talking brink. about brink now yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, brink. i don't even remember let's go look at the brink characters it looks like time splitters it looks exactly like time splitters 
Oh, Brink is on stage. Oh, what is this? What is this? Hold yeah, on. Brink on stream. On stream. Look what look what it happens whenever I look up Brink. Look Brink. Brink. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, a roller that? roller skating it's... Disney show. Yo, speaking of which, did you watch the uh, brutal moose coverage of Johnny Tsunami that he just put out? <laughs> no, I saw it though. <laughs> That's what this what Brink movie this? looks like. It is. Brink. This is a Disney movie. It's 1998, the era of uh, extreme of sports roller and movies. Blading. Yeah, roller this guy's blading, too man. cool for. I swear, I've seen this guy in like a bunch of these Disney movies. I've seen this this kid before. <laughs> what is the IMDb? <laughs> Who is Brink. this kid? Nay, hey, Brink is free to play. Yeah, Brink is free to play on the PC. Oh, we should play it. Brink. Maybe. Mixed reviews, though. Release date, 2011. Hmm. Hey, this isn't Bethesda? just another hero shooter. Brink's advanced player customization offers a near-endless combination of looks for your character. Oh, man, they're wow. throwing some shade at the hero shooters. I don't the know. The hero shooters deserve... The main, character of, uh, the main character of the Brink movie from 1998 is the, <laughs> the voice of Sid from Toy Story. Oh, oh good. I guess. <laughs> yeah, great. Sid, the guy from uh, uh, from Maze Runner, right? <laughs> that looks like Sid. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever see that? No. You ever see? Um, oh, who's the guy? He's it. He's like the kind of the bad guy of the kids in Maze Runner, and he kind of becomes a a good guy in like the third one. He's the guy who played uh, Adam Warlock in the uh, in the Guardians movies. He's like I British two words. Did you just say? <laughs> yeah, you are. We just You're call out me? of my range. You've never seen those movies. You've never seen Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, I think so. Like a bajillion times, I think probably. Well, the newer one, the newest one, the newest one with the gold guy. Is that who's before like Adam or Warlock? after Thanos went to the it, farm? Yeah, after, is that the one. Wait, I think. oh, I don't know. I haven't seen a single Marvel movie since Thanos yeah. went to the farm. Um, okay, and he was happy. Last Guardian uh, Galaxy, I remember, it was like when he met his dad or something. That was the game. Okay, Phillip. that was the second one. This is the third one. Volume three. Wait, what? His name is Will Poulter. Look up Will Poulter. Okay, that's his damn name. That sounds anyway. like a porn star name. Because he looks like I just saw he did a he did a cosplay of Sid one time at a Halloween like a Hollywood Halloween party, and he looked exactly like Sid from Toy Story because he looks like him. <laughs> but oh, I know this guy. Him, everyone calls him Sid because he looks like fucking Sid from Toy Story. <laughs> But like he this went is the out. The guy from uh, from Maze Runner. He's in no. Maze he was Runner? in uh, Narnia. Is he the Beaver? Yes, he played the little bastard kid. No, he played Ed Edmund. I think. Oh, the, the one punk. Who's, yeah, yeah, the punk kid. Yeah. The yeah, one I who just sold them out. I don't know why I remember. That. I just saw. <laughs> dude, that's the that's the lion. They movie. sold him out. Yeah, they yeah. sold him. He sold the, his brothers and sisters out for, for some, some sweet Turkish Turkish, Turkish, Turkish yeah. delight. I would have yeah. did it too, brother. <laughs> Turkish, Turkish, Turkish I was on his side. Disgusting! It's disgusting. <laughs> Turkish delight is gross. It's like if it was gross, it wouldn't have delight in the name. Or maybe it needs the fucking good PR because it is disgusting. Well, it's so is, is he called it's like gross. Turkish delight? So it's obviously from Turkey, right? It's like what is the original name type deal like? Oh, I thought it was it? like just turkey, like the food. No, Turkish like candy delight. turkey. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like this weird jelly. Yeah, candy oh, bacon. It's called the original name is called lo locum. A locum. It's locum. like a licorice. Uh, it's some kind of weird fucking gel or something. It's like little <laughs> gel cubes, and they put like powdered sugar on it. It's not like good. like astronaut food. It's not good. No, it's just like more like gel slurm. cubes. <laughs> slurm, yeah, it's like yeah. slurm with powdered sugar on it. <laughs> All right, to bring That's it back, not that. to get too far away, but to bring it back to Brink. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was awful. <laughs> what we're really talking about here. Yeah, you want to guess the active player base of Brink? Uh, 17. Yo, oh, you're so close. An average of 15. <laughs> Holy really? shit, I was so close. So you wouldn't even yeah. be able to get it a game no. online. Odds oh, are we would God. not find a full match. Hey, but I mean, they got bots, you know? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> All right, That's back funny. to Deceit now. Or not Deceit, which I keep... <laughs> Deceit, Deceit was a game we just did for the pod, like, you know, a month ago. And I keep thinking about it. This is Defiant. X, uh, X Defiance. Defiance. Yeah. That's right. Uh, Back to Defiance. Uh, this game had some malarkey going on with skill-based matchmaking. Do you guys know more about this than me? Probably. Uh, 
I heard that there is no skill-based matchmaking, which is why people were like, yay, this game is not going to have SBMM, which is why um, <laughs> in other games, like everyone hates that because it's like it puts you on like a bell curve kind of thing where if it was so truly the, random, you would have more good games. You know what I mean? The, Fair matches, likely. If you're an average or below average player. Uh, we talked about this whenever we were playing Halo Infinite because... Uh, my friends, Dontre and Jesse, they fucking sucked at it at the beginning. They were terrible. They were only Call of Duty players, basically. And Halo's way different than that. So I was Onyx in, like, the first season. And they were Bronze. And I would we would play casual games together. And I would bring them into, like, Plat Diamond matches because of, like, the fucking differentiation in skill. Mm -hmm. And they would go, like, 1 in 30. And, 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 <laughs> and you know what I mean? And so it would be horrible matches for them. And which means it's horrible matches but that's for ranked. me. That's I, ranked, no, though, no? No, that would be a casual oh. game, which okay, is what okay. happens in skill-based matchmaking if you implement it into casual games. I think most people yeah. don't care. Obviously, ranked needs to be skill-based matchmaking, so bronzes aren't fighting plats and stuff like that. Yeah. But like rank-based. It should just be rank-based matchmaking. Was well, it mean? rank indicative of your skill? Uh, <laughs> yeah. not, not in all I... games. In some, in a lot in of games, Legends. there's like hidden... Yeah, there's like yeah. hidden MMRs and EMRs and all this bullshit. It's so stupid. Like in Apex, there's a hidden, like it's it's like an experience based matchmaking. So like if you fucking suck for like five games in a row, they'll dump you in a lobby to keep you playing with like shit people so you can kill them and you'll play. Oh, you'll keep playing, right? It's yeah. It's, yeah. it's all based on some weird algorithm to keep you playing. It is not a random. There's no way. It's, I think uh, it's, I think in League of Legends also it's specifically to help calculate how much. LP you lose or win. Yeah, it, it's mm. a gravity basically type a weight saying that like hey we think you should be performing at like a gold level and so if you do poorly and start to drop out of gold you won't lose as much as if like it thought you should be in bronze and then you oh. were in gold and you lose a match. It's like, yeah, get back where you belong, trash. It'll send you oh, lower okay. faster. Yeah. I think it really? also it fights against That's smurfing, weird. which is a horrific problem in League of Legends. So like yeah. if you're in bronze and you're fucking going twenty nine and three in every game, then it's gonna like sh rocket ship you yeah. up to like gold. You'll be getting like mm -hmm. half a rank every game where it's like yeah, obviously yeah. you just do not so that, belong here. Just so that you stop fucking beating up the plebeians. Okay, well that's is, yeah, that's good. Okay, which but is, the people ranked. call sandbagging, which is like when you rank, start that's losing ranked, on purpose. That's the ranked system. Skill based matchmaking in like a public matches is just yeah. Like, why? Like, what the fuck are you doing? Well, no. The point is to stop. Uh, like with skill point skill based matchmaking in publics, the whole point is to avoid having one or two players that are going forty and three, which is a problem in this game. They're going to likely do that anyway. Do you know what I mean? If no, they're skilled if they enough are, If they are that skilled, that, then they're going to match with other people that are that skilled. Maybe that they have longer works, queue though. times it never while works. they wait it for it or something. Yeah. But they will it be matched works. with other people going 40 and 2. And then they'll be forced into you know having the, a win rate of the 50%. The queue times, they wouldn't accept the queue times. Like The developers don't do that. They don't want people waiting to play. They they just don't. From my experience, they will no, not I, do No, that. I agree. I don't think, like, they want people playing the game as long as possible. Long queue mm -hmm. times are bad. Low times mm -hmm. are bad. But that's why they'll never truly match based on skill. Like, it'll never happen, <laughs> I feel, in any game. Like, they say they might have it, but, like... Yeah, I not, mean, like we said, they nuance it, or they weight it with hidden yeah. rankings and numbers and yeah. stuff like that. Exactly. This gut, This game does take into consideration how big your party is, I'm pretty sure, also. Because yes, we were you, they, at the moment. Yes, I, absolutely. So I was eating, oh, eating shit. I was doing great. I was giving the shit to eat. Uh, whenever we had five people, people were eating bullshit. my shit. <laughs> yeah, they were um, eating my ass. <laughs> and then they shit out the shit that I made them eat, and then I ate, made them eat it again. Yeah. So the that that was going on when it was a group of five, and <laughs> okay. as soon as it became a six man, we lost every game, like hands down, super bad. We because, also yeah, drinking. if you're in a group, hundred percent, there. I I felt that when we were playing together, they were putting us against people in groups. Yeah, I was like Which, these guys are a hundred percent playing together and communicating yeah. and calming with each other. These MLG try hard sweats. Like it's probably like a, a guys who play like COD together, like ranked COD. You know what I mean? It's like these guys are playing together for sure, a hundred percent. Like, there's no way that guy would have known I was fucking there. Zero percent chance. And that happens all the time. Like it hit did when we were playing together. It's like there's no way. 
They must <laughs> be telling be each other where they are. Yeah. With some kind of... <laughs> like, where, why don't we do that? Yeah, I don't where, know. Where are the pings? <laughs> yeah, no where pings. Where are the pings? No pings. That's how I do it. Fuck. You know how you ping in this game? You run at the enemy and die. And you go, yeah. oh, my ex, like, oh, oh, my ex, on my ex. Yeah, exactly. Because you don't hear them. There's zero footstep audio in this game. I Absolute do zero. When you kill someone, the enemies will drop an X. So you can see when a friendly has yes. like, if he, like, oh, that guy's in a firefight over there and mm-hmm. the enemy dies, you can tell that he died there. So you're like, oh, good, he won. So you don't have to be like, I won. I hope he got him. Do I need to yeah. go over there type deal? Like, <laughs> yeah. Do I need to go over there? <laughs> yeah. Should I get involved? But yeah. What about the foots? Did you notice that the, uh, the, the audio is horrible? Like there's no there, footsteps. I do hear footsteps, but the 3D audio is not great. Yeah. I, so I hear footsteps I can, when it's too late. Sometimes I can tell it's like left and right. Yeah, and also when it's too late. Yeah, but a it's lot of the times late. also we're getting shot from far enough away that it doesn't matter. You, we wouldn't hear footsteps anyway, unless you're in Rainbow Six. No, Siege that's not even what I mean. I mean, like, let's say I'm running, me and another guy are sprinting towards a corner. I don't hear him at all around the corner, like footsteps or anything like I would in other games, Overwatch, Call of Duty. I would hear these footsteps. Nothing. And he just flies out at me like, bah! and whoever like locks on first and gets the kill. All right. I haven't heard footsteps, but random. there's a lot of shadows. I've seen a lot of shadows around corners. I don't know if you noticed shadows. This. Yeah. yeah. yeah there's, there's a lot of shadow. I don't know. There's like big light effects going on in this game. Ray tracing or some bullshit or whatever. <laughs> Ray tracing. <laughs> 3D Ray video. But uh, I feel like I see a lot more shadows than I that would never see in other games. Mm-hmm. That could just give away people's setting. positions. It's, yeah, has it turned turned up more than normal? Which, yeah, I guess. I mean, I've noticed that in other games, but uh, it's not always super prominent. But I have noticed it in this. But besides yeah. that, uh, do you guys have any other me points or discussion points you want to raise? Because I feel like we've really, really chewed into this game at this point. No, I think I'm good. We played a lot of it. I maxed yeah. out my marksman rifle. You did. I- I'm like, like level 58. Oh, we could talk about the boost and battle pass. Do you think it took you a exceptionally long time to max out your gun? Well, it was a double experience weapon weekend. So yeah, this weekend so was double XP. I was double. like grinding it out. Yeah. yeah. And also, I, I literally, I used the assault rifle for like a third of a game. And I was like, this gun is garbage. And then I used the SMG and I was like, this gun's even worse somehow. And then I got to the marksman, which is the next in line. And I was like, oh my God, I can kill people now. And so I just never used any other gun. I yeah. just only used the marksman. I was level okay. two when I, I started like, no lifing the marksman rifle. Yeah, I was swapping back and forth. But I don't, I just don't see the, the like, the... AK has more recoil and it kind of does a little bit more damage than the M4, but not really. I don't even think it's worth the 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 difference is the range. I was going into the uh, firing the practice area and there's a test dummies there that you can see exactly how much damage it does when you shoot. And I was comparing the guns, and the AK just does more damage further out. Like close up, it does the same as like the M4, like almost basically the same. But the difference is the range, the damage range on the AK is more. So people further away, you're going to do more damage than the M4 would. And well, that's... you can see the detailed stats on guns because, like, you have the basic like firepower, mobility, accuracy, ammo, like yeah. bars. Then you press the bars, G, yeah. and it'll give you like bullet fall off damage. It'll give you like charts oh. telling you everything you need to see. Like I, oh, I don't I have a screenshot. Of it. Yeah, but you press that. G on the gun or whatever, and you can oh, okay. see like all the extra bullshit, the things mm-hmm. that you would only be able to see in like the testing arena i know like yeah. people go into those for like uh apex updates you can be like oh the smg now takes you got to do a clip in two bullets to fully drop <laughs> yeah. someone with white shields or whatever it's like yeah. okay and as we have this range like mm-hmm. so all those numbers well, are just yeah out you do there. get that you get actually milliseconds time to kill in the firing range to, on the dummies it tells really? you yeah so you can compare the millisecond on how it how long it took with all headshots or all body shots or whatever for each of the guns at each of the ranges. There's four ranges, I think four dummies at different ranges. So you can compare directly how fast the time to kill is per gun. That's pretty cool. Yeah. A lot of a power to the players, but I did notice that, uh, yeah, the M4 is just good. It's the same, but only kind of mid, mid to close range and the AK is better further, but it has more recoil. The scar is pretty good though on both. 
Uh, I was using the scar. I started using the scar after I unlocked it, but which we could talk about how you unlock the guns and there's specific Mm -hmm. challenges that are like, Hey, get 30 headshots with assault rifles and you'll unlock the scar or whatever, Mm -hmm. or get uh, 5,000 damage and you unlock the AK, which is, that's also how you unlock, unlock the new skins too, for the, each uh, character. Yeah. It'll be like, there's a challenge. Use the fire bomb and do so much damage, uh, scan so many enemies for the scanner. I got, yeah, I got the second one for the scanner uh, character. Uh, I was trying to get the one with the fire dude, the next one for the fire dude, the cleaners, but you have yeah. to get like 50 kills with the fucking drone. It's hard. Dude, the drone I'm doesn't at, do a lot I'm of at kills. Like 35 potential. or something, but man, yeah. you have to hit someone directly at the end. Like it has to hit somebody. Or if they're right beside a wall that it hits, kind of thing. Because it only does a little bit of fire damage if they're kind of just walking through it. It doesn't fucking kill them. You have to like, yeah. hit them directly. So it's hard. And it's slow. All right. Any other me points? Uh, no. no. All right. Let's take a quick break. Music plays. Boom, 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 boom. Does anyone need a bathroom break or anything? No. No. Boom, 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 Yeah. So stupid. And we're back. Uh, what is this game? X to see. X. No, X to find. X to find from Ubisoft. Uh, I'll take these first final words. This is going to be a recommend for me. This, it was shocking to me how much I was enjoying this game. Like, I was even, like, in self-denial talking to my wife, Jana. Just while I'm playing, I'm like, ah, you know, Ubisoft, Patui, you know, gross, or whatever. <laughs> Battle Pass, free-to-play shooter, Patui. You're sweating, and you're yeah. gripping the controller. And then I played, I'm like, eh, it's not that bad. As I play, and then, like, a little later, play a little more, like, uh, instead of, uh, I don't know, working on Nino Cooney or whatever, instead I launch it again, and I'm like, I guess I'll play another match by myself. Launch it, I'm like, all right, mm-hmm. this is pretty good. And then me and yeah. Nate were playing, and we're, like, getting hyped and yelling about stuff happening. <laughs> and then you get yeah. it on, too, John, and I'm like, all right, this game's actually... I want to keep playing it. And then like <laughs> yeah. we probably stayed up playing later in this than we have in like any other multiplayer game for a while. Like this, this yeah. one really hooked me. I 100% recommend this free to play. It's on PC, uh, Xbox, I assume PlayStation as well. Go mm-hmm. try it. Like, and it's cross progression. So you can play on everything and under the same account and share the same progress. Incredible. Cause not all games offer that. And it's kind of annoying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smite. But uh, Final Fantasy 16, <laughs> 14. Final Fantasy, yeah. But this is 100% a recommend for me. Uh, the thing is, though, I don't think I'm going I'm to keep it installed because it was, once again, only 24 gigs mm-hmm. for a modern well shooter. Yeah, incredible. Good job, Ubisoft. I'm going to look forward to the Assassin's Creed faction when they get added in. And uh, oh, the, the Rain Man Raven. Rabbit. Yeah, the Rabbids <laughs> once they get in there, too. I'm, I'm probably going to pop back into this, but... I don't know. I'm not going to keep playing it like every day or anything. Like, Jono, this isn't going to be my game. Be like, oh, I'm on X Defiant every no, day or whatever. No. Like, no, this, this, this is not going to be for me. But I would I'll, come back I'll if there's an update. If people want to play. Yeah. And if there's yeah. Like update, or if I can invite like, it. Like, there's a few things about it that I don't love that kind of make me kind of want to, uh, I'll wait and see. But uh, yeah, I don't think they're going to be addressed. One of them is that fucking bunny hopping thing. I just don't think they'll ever do anything about that. Like, uh, but I can, like I said, turn on um, the m- input-based matchmaking, which would fix that. But uh, yeah, like it'll get better. The hit registrations should get better. Obviously, they'll tweak hopefully that and the maybe the hit boxes and that kind of thing. But it was fun playing with friends. It's fun. It's fun uh, to see your progress. It's satisfying to sh- get the hit markers and the dinks. Yeah, the dinks. <laughs> oh, one point uh, we didn't talk about is there's there's ranked as well. Which yeah. lowers the team numbers from 6v6 to 4v4. And you just have like a smaller game that you play or whatever. Which we did like one match of this and we were very sweaty in it. And we won pretty easily, I think. Me and Nave did. <laughs> and uh, yeah. the ring seemed okay. I was worried that they were going to pull... Like I think Halo did this. Eh? It's like yeah, it's, it's preseason right, right now. So it's, yeah. it's trial ranked. I was worried that they were going to be like, oh, now that it's not silly publics, uh, the respawn time is lowered or something like that. Whereas like now you got to wait three seconds before you can hop back in the action. No, it is the same thing as mm-hmm. pubs where you like the second you die, you can press X and like respawn instantly. You don't have any time to sit here watching kill cams or trash like that. What game mode is it? Is it all the, the 
the game all game modes or we did the roman escort, territories one ranked? i don't know four player escort does not sound fun no escort ranked would be fucking annoying all right so Especially that's two recommends nave what's your uh stance on this recommend not recommend i also recommend it i think i prob i think i probably put the most hours into this out of us three because i played it i probably played it for like seven hours the other day with that gr- big group we played <laughs> all fucking night and so 12 hours in it the the oh. game is really the game is really fun there's a lot of frustrations i have there are some ma- uh, one thing i i see in like shooters is generally i don't really care what the maps are there's some maps i'll be like ah oh, this kind of sucks when i see mm-hmm. maps some maps in this game i don't i just want to turn the game off like i'm like oh my god it's the fucking cowboy map again i i'm just gonna <laughs> play halo instead yeah. i don't want to play the- there's some maps i just genuinely don't want to play i really like how they let you turn off in the in the normal casual playlist turn off what game modes you don't like Mm. Uh, we forgot to talk about Hot Shot, which is literally just kill confirmed. Yeah. Um, except one person, whoever is like getting the most like kill confirms, uh, they turn into like this fucking speedy Gonzalez super fast <laughs> character, That's and they get a little thing wow. over their head. Um, nice. It's not very good, and so it's the closest <laughs> thing to team deathmatch that there is in this game, though. So. I mean, if you like that, it's very casual and silly, and that's what we ended up playing like at the end of the night when we were ty- tired of the fucking Trying. roaming, whatever. Yeah. yeah, maybe I'll jump in that. Um, but uh, the game is really good. It plays really good. It's free, so uh, you know, it's got a high population right now. I don't know how long that's gonna last, but it's cross. Pr- it's cross platform too. Yeah, cross cross plat. So we were playing against that. My team had a play had a PC user and a PlayStation user in it. It's like. We're all playing together in Discord. It's mm-hmm. fucking sick. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's really good. All right. So once again, Jono from the Elder Trolls, thank you for coming out. Dear listeners at home, please go listen to their show. It's great. It's always in my uh, rotation. Nice. Yeah, no problem, guys. Thanks for having me. Thanks for playing a shooter with me. Yeah. <laughs> Another shooter. With me. Another shooter. I only play shooters. The shooters and non-shooters. <laughs> I play shooters. <laughs> The show will be linked in the description. Now, Dave, what are we playing next week? I don't know. You Overwatch play... 2? <laughs> no. Oh, man. Disney Speedstorm? Dwarf, game. dwarf game? Still, dwarf we, game like we a say of times. dwarf game every Maybe every we play week. a Chocobo well, GP. Dude, Chocobo X, GP? Defiant, <laughs> X Defiant came off the fucking top ropes this week, dude. It's like, yeah. I didn't expect... I turned it on because I was, I was looking for a game to play with Rachel, and I was tired of Fortnite. And I saw this free game that just came out, and I was like, oh, this is going to suck, probably. I had no context for what it was. I didn't know it was Ubisoft. I didn't know anything. I just, as soon as I downloaded it, I was like, oh, yeah, the Siege people, whatever. We'll do something. I had no fucking clue that this game was going to be good, actually. That I was going to eat shit. Well, I keep wondering now, like, what would be a good other, like, publisher crossover shooter? Like, uh, Capcom? Like, I want a Microsoft. Resident Evil. Microsoft? No. <laughs> Spit on <laughs> what Capcom? Capcom, you get Resident Evil, you got was it like Bayonetta 2. Uh, what Trash. else is there? Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry, yeah, it'd be a great hero Ace shooter. Attorney, Ace Attorney, Mega Man, <laughs> Ace Attorney. Mega Man shooting with his blaster, yeah, a great first person shooter. You're saying fucking, you're saying, you're saying you don't want a game with Master Chief, Ghost from Call of Duty, the Doom guy, Fallout um. guy. Like what? You don't want that. You don't ah. want Fosro Da in no, there. That sounds like it could be too good. <laughs> With a bow and arrow. <laughs> I want yeah. something silly. I want a silly shooter. Like, did you ever play? Do you guys remember that Batman shooter that came out? Uh, it, uh Gotham City Imposters. Is that it? Yeah. Did we play that? No, I don't know. I remember that. No, yeah, I don't think it exists it. anymore. I don't know what the fuck that is. I think that game shut down like a decade ago. Oh no. <laughs> Gotham City <laughs> Imposters. Gotham Steam City charts. Imposters. It's free to play. Oh, no, the title is Gotham City Imposters Free to Play. Yikes. Oh, no, it's still active. They've had 12 players. There's more players playing Brink than the yeah, Gotham dude. City. <laughs> I'm telling you, Brink is the fucking uh, level that you got to aspire to. Oh, God. <laughs> 20 years later, Brink's still going strong. God. Oh, all right. God, man. And with that, thanks for joining us this week, co partners. Maybe next time we can all use skill based matchmaking and get ranked with losers together. <laughs> or take them. Children. Right. Uh, get dinked. Get a deep dish pizza to it, children. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>